Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to XTWFF Fusion. My name Woo! is Josh again. I'm joined with Sean McCarty. Hello! And tonight, XAW and UCT are dead. We have XTW and FF, and we are kicking the show off with the FF YouTube Championship Fatal 4-Way Ladder Match. We're crowning the first ever FF YouTube Champion. Of course, the YouTube title is going to be FF's secondary title. This is going to be a lot of fun, and we are here in Seattle, Washington, at the it's Fusion been Arena. So wet. Yes, it, 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 like stop raining for the love of it God. Always rains in Seattle, Washington. It's literally a meme that's true. <laughs> yes. But we have so many things happening it's tonight. So wet here. And our first competitor. Speaking of wet, here I don't know why I said that. Here comes Kefla. Uh, if the smoke around her ever dissipates. But yeah, she has she's been... She's walking around like The Undertaker in Elimination Chamber 2010. Yeah, <laughs> she's got chemical burns all over her. She's got burns all over her body. And, and, and the she next is, night, she's... the next night when she challenges Shawn Michaels to a retirement match, it looks like she has mustard all over. It looks weird. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, Kefla has been impressive since her debut at the final episode of Femme Fatales where she defeated Wednesday Adams. And then on the final UCT, she that that spear that she gave Ray in midair was ridiculous. Yeah, it was pretty. It was nuts. Yeah. So she's two and zero thus far. Can she win the uh, uh, the FF YouTube Championship? She's already called her shot on her first night. She called out Bulma and Samara Morgan, who will be meeting later tonight to crown the first FF World Champion. And she said, "Not only am I going to win the YouTube title." But I'm going to challenge whoever wins the FF World title. So, some lofty ambitions here for Kefla. Well, you know, this is the way you make a name for yourself as you try to ease the pain of several chemical burns. But here comes Bayonetta. <laughs> yeah, here comes Bayonetta, ladies and gentlemen. The second competitor. And, of course, on the final episode of XAW, she made her debut beating the absolute tar out of Yumiko Jibami. I, like, J Yumiko got, like, maybe two moves in before she ate so many witch time scissors kicks from Bayonetta. It got knocked unconscious in that matchup. She was so impressive. And a worthy... Yeah, she's definitely impressive. And a worthy addition to the FF roster. And she has a very solid chance of winning this ladder match. And of course, it's a ladder match. No pinfalls or submissions or countouts or disqualifications. You climb up the ladder, rip down the YouTube Championship, and you are the winner. So thus far we have Kefla and Bayonetta. Between those two... Who you got winning this matchup? I know that we have two more competitors, but who who you liking thus far? Uh, so well, far in well, this, let's, let's see the field before we uh, make a decision here. All right, who As, uh, is? But Bayonetta also very impressive. They're both very impressive. Here oh, comes oh shit! Mikasa Ackerman from Attack on Titan making her debut here in FF here tonight at Fusion. I'm hyped for I, this. I am hyped for this. Oh man! I'm like breaking the fourth wall. I'm actually rather impressed at the outfit me too me too and the, <laughs> that's it's really close yeah and the wings of freedom insignia that's that is that's, dope that is a the, dope design yeah major major ups Who, whoever to, made this whoever thank you that, <laughs> for that. i would give you a yeah. shout out but i don't know who you are it's, 
Just like Thanos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. You went there. But anyway, here comes I the did. final competitor in this matchup. Oh, oh, God. Sinua from Hellblade. Oh, God. I, yes. Shut up and take all of my money. I, I am so in for this Fatal 4-Way Ladder match to kick off the show. Sean, do you know what Hellblade is? Well, I was told there was a blade involved, and yes. it may or may not have come from hell. Yes, it, it's a, 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 a game from a while back, and it's actually having a sequel come out soon. And it's a lot of fun. It's uh, very dark and eerie, and it's... Uh, Sounds right up your alley. Like, imagine Sarah Logan or Valhalla, but not lame and actually cool. That's Sinua. But anyway... I know there's not going to be a Michael Cole marking out because of antlers, but that's what they're fighting for right there, ladies and gentlemen. The FF YouTube Championship. The secondary title. My, uh, again, I found that somewhere, and whoever made it, thank you. Uh, here we go with this matchup. Sean, who, who do you got in this matchup as it begins? Well, it's going to be a very difficult matchup between all four competitors. You know that once it gets to soup bone trading, mm -hmm. then, it, you know, the... Whoever falls off the ladder, that's a sizable bump. Falling a distance is always going to hurt. But I'm going to go Bayonetta in this one. She's got a lot of durability, mm -hmm. but there is some X factors in this matchup. So it could go to any of these four competitors here tonight. As much as I love Mikasa and Sinua, I'm my gut says go with Kefla because she's been so impressive and she called her shot. So... I know that she's not going to want to swing and miss here tonight, especially in our opening contest, but what a German <laughs> suplex by Bayonetta. I can see why you picked Bayonetta, Sean. Yeah, she's got, she's got deceptively agile. She's so tall as well, and she has those thunderous... Look at those kicks. Oh, and look at the taunt. Look at the taunt. <laughs> she, she is an absolute X factor, ladies and gentlemen. And now Senua going after the arm of Mikasa in this matchup. Man, I am so... We have so much to come here tonight on XTWFF Fusion. We have this match. We have um, the CIW Open uh, Challenge uh, later tonight, which is going to be a lot of fun. And, Sean, please don't... Not a recognized title. Don't break anything if... Again, you have selected someone to wrestle the Joker for that championship that may or may not even exist. So, well, you're the one who encased me in this plexiglass box. What? So, you know, yeah. you, I don't know whether you bought this from Michael Cole or <laughs> um, but you encased me in this so there yeah. would be no debauchery. So yeah. I'm the one, I'm minding my own business in here. Yeah, and now look at this. Bayonetta with, oh, I don't even know. Oh, German suplex my on God. Mikasa on the ladder. My God. That, how does one survive being german on a ladder? That was ridiculous. That that is a spinal injury oh. waiting to happen. That is a concussion. <laughs> Dear God, I I don't know who's gonna be able to. And look at that cross body by me, man. Who's gonna be able to walk out of this matchup? And Bayonetta bringing in a kendo stick, and oh, right to the face of Kefla. Oh, but Kefla firing back. But we also have uh, the XTW Tag Team Title match later tonight. We have um, Majin Buu and Bojack versus Ryan the Lion and Sumabish. I didn't forget about him this time. We have the FF Tag Team Championships on the line to uh, determine the first ever FF Tag Team Champions. Your girls, the Green Bazongas of Glory, the Mean Green Machines. Yeah! And, yeah very oh, what? high on those green ladies. And they have been hanging out with the Greasy Green Jigglers. They've got an entourage now that's showing up at clubs all over the New England area. Yeah, and the it could not piss the Shades of Black off more if they tried. Uh, I know. They're, they're stuck in jazz clubs. Yeah, but we have... Yes, yeah, the Green Bazongas I mean, of Glory. Jazz clubs. I'm just, that's where they are. Oh, and Kefla, look at this, and a huge power bomb on oh. uh, Senua in the ring. I was close to uh, the and... very base of that ladder. <laughs> <laughs> really Bayonetta on oh, a spear by Kefla, that massive spear, but Bayonetta, like, axe kicked Mikas' face into the ladder. That was nasty. But yeah, so it's going to be the Green Bazongas of Glory. Oh, I guess Mi oh, oh, Mikas is in trouble. Pile driver on the floor. And Kefla already trying to win the matchup. She's up the ladder. She's got All she's got to do is rip down the title. But Senua's back to her feet. And Senua. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh smart move by Mikas. Of throwing Bayonetta into the ring, into the ladder. And a power bomb by oh. Senua. Man, right on the spine. But yeah, it's going to be the Green Bazongas of Glory versus the Jigglypuffs for the FF Tag Team titles. 
We have Woody uh, defending the XTW Lightning Weight title against Silver the Hedgehog. Um, which is going to be interesting. We have Johnny Bravo versus Roger Blake versus the Simple Neglect for the XTW Global Championship. Uh, we have Samara Morgan versus Bulma for the FF World title. I'm so looking forward to that matchup. And I'm looking forward to our main event. Jack Six versus Jacob Cass for the XTW World Heavyweight title in our main event. Dude, this is a stacked show. This is going to be a... Huge show Indeed. with some huge implications. And Kefla. And <laughs> oh, what a clothesline by Kefla. She has just been ragdolling Senua in this matchup. Oh, but Senua trying to fight back, though. Oh, nice back suplex. And now what is oh, Mikasa with an exploder suplex? And oh, what? another massive lariat. And, oh, Kefla tried to go for some kind of springboard move, but Mikas is like, I have a kendo stick, and you're not going to do that. It's all oh, right to the face. And again, man, again, this has been a brutal contest, a brutal way to open up the show here tonight on XTW FF Fusion. And now cinema has got that ladder, but now, oh, Snake Eyes on Mikasa into the corner. Man, I, I, who is going to walk out of this matchup as the FF YouTube champion? And once again, ladies and gentlemen, that'll, this is going to be the secondary title in FF. And oh, and another big clothesline this time by Sinua. Just Dude, she's really laying them in. You want a big running knee strike by Kefla as this matchup continues. And now uh, Bayonetta on the outside. And Kefla going right back after Sinua. Man, Kefla has just had it out for Sinua in this matchup. But a nice arm drag by, Bay by Bayonetta as this matchup continues. And uh, look at oh. this. Beautiful double arm suplex there. Yeah, nice move by. She's small but deceptively powerful. Well, somebody's got to get that ladder in the center of the ring and get to, you know, start focusing on the objective here. Oh, I know. Right, Sinua is doing just that. Sinua is doing just oh, there that. We go. There we go. Oh, it almost oh, grabbed it. Oh, and Kefla trying to stop her and now just yanking her off the ladder right on her, right on her tailbone. And, and oh, man, that is oh. not looking good either. And Mikasa with a straight shot right to the nose of Kefla. And oh, Senua trying to win it. Can she get it right here? Oh, but Mikasa with some shot, uh, some strikes right to the coccyx. And now the yeah, belt is going flying. The belt just swinging all over the place. And a bad landing for Senua. And now Kefla with... Oh! <laughs> Suplex into a GTS. Yeah, wow. That was I nice. I was about to say, I'm not sure what that was supposed to be, but it was definitely devastating. That, it got her right in the face. A little bit of payback from that that nose punch from Mikasa earlier. And now, oh, Kefla's got that kendo stick again. Oh, oh Senua taking it from her and now knocking the ladder down as this matchup continues. Oh, no, oh counter by Senua into a jawbreaker on Mikasa. And, oh, oh Kefla with a springboard drop kick. And Bayonetta with her own springboard. Man, bodies flying everywhere in our opening contest for the FF YouTube Championship. Dude. Yeah, it is. It's mayhem. It has been absolute pandemonium. And now Bayonetta now grabbing a steel chair here. Oh, oh that's no. That's not good. Oh, oh but Kefla's smart oh. move knocking it out of her hands. And now Senua with, oh, a big springboard forearm knocking down Mikasa. And oh, now Kefla with her own springboard forearm, knocking down Senua. Again, bodies flying everywhere, all to become the first ever FF YouTube champion. Oh, now Senua. Okay, that was petty. That what was petty. There? She what left the there? She left the ring, saw that Kefla was setting up the ladder, and got back in the ring just to mess up the ladder. Oh, Mikasa. Oh, my God. Was that a headlock driver right into the ladder? I'm pretty sure that that ladder runs went through Kefla. That went right into her teeth. That was... That was... That was wow. Wow. How is she not, like... How is her face not, like, hamburger right now? Well, it, it might be. She's just running around. I don't even know if she can see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, oh it nice. On instinct only. Man, that was a, a very interesting leg drop right there by Bayonetta. Again, utilizing her dangerous legs. And, oh, spin kick. And now Mikasa trying to trying to backdoor it. She's trying to backdoor it. Oh, but a oh, suplex. She's right near it. She's oh. right near it. And Kefla knocks over the ladder, but Mikasa is just dangling. She's just dangling while Bayonetta, Bayonetta with a spinning powerbomb. Mikasa's got to unlatch it. Mikasa just tangling. Oh, but is oh, not able not to. Enough. Oh, that was a nasty landing for Mikasa. And now Sinua has Bayonetta in a in a triangle choke. But man, the wear and tear in this matchup, as everyone's just been 
beat to hell and back oh, uh, in our opening contest here. And now Kefla and uh, Mikasa on the outside of the ring. Man, fatigue has got to be setting in here. And oh, look at this Bayonetta with another pile driver on Senua. And now Kefla has, look at the size of that ladder. Oh my god. Bridged now, now on our table. Come oh, on, man. It bridged on our table, and now Mikas is slamming her head first into it. Oh, now, oh, back in the ring. Bayonetta trying to go up. But, oh, oh, gets. Oh, god. Kendo stick Kendo's to the face. Stuck. Oh, now Mikas. Oh, slamming Kefla face first on the ladder. As this matchup continues. But, oh, a super kick by Bayonetta. And Bayonetta with, oh, a beautiful core screw uh, shooting star press. Man, uh, oh no, Bayonetta. This might be Bayonetta's opportunity Eyes here. On the prize, Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Eyes on the prize. Uh, Mikasa's attacking Kefla right on the outside. There. I don't think Mikasa realizes it. Oh, she does, right but she might be too late. Bayonetta on the top of the ladder. Can she do it? Come on. And she does it. She's Bayonetta. Done. Man, Sean, did you ever call it correctly? Bay Bayonetta saw her chance and took it. Bayonetta is your first ever. FF YouTube champion winning our opening contest. Man, that was a brutal ladder match. Man. Yes, I mean, that was, these ladies were really, really putting it all on the line here tonight. You could tell each one of them came into play. They were hitting stiff kicks and punches and mm -hmm. meat wallet mutilation. But at the end <laughs> of the day, Bayonetta with her big legs yes. got the big win and the YouTube championship. Yes, absolutely. I, again, I see big things in Bayonetta's future. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, we also have some bonus matches tonight. Bonus match number one. Throw me a freaking bonus here, bro. I'm throwing you a bonus, man. Uh, but yeah, um, one of the championships in XTW, I haven't debuted it yet, is going to be the XTW Submission Championship. And it's going to be crowned in a tournament match. It's going to be a 16-man tournament. The first an Eliminator Tournament match? <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. It is an Eliminator <laughs> Tournament, indeed. Oh, uh, I know the excitement is palpable. I don't mean to rain on your parade, but it always rains in Seattle. Indeed, Washington. we have a dome <laughs> protecting the arena. But here comes our first compet. Is this who I think? It the return, ladies and gentlemen, of Anderson Silva. He was back in the early days of TAW. Wow. Before he just straight up vanished. It it's been like a good. Just like in real life. Yeah, honestly, yeah. It's been like seven years, ladies and gentlemen, but. Yeah. Anderson Silva, wow. now a member of XTW, jockeying for position. Can he become the first ever XTW submission champion? So what are the rules of the submission championship, Josh? It's, it's literally for... Uh, it's literally you have to win matches via submission. You can... For this tournament, every... Oh, oh shit! Okay, here we go. I'm uh, about to start marking man. out once again. I know yeah. Sean's not going to be as thrilled as I am, but here comes Zack Sabre Jr., also making his XTW debut. So our first matchup in the XTW Submission Championship Tournament. Anderson Silva versus Zack Sabre Jr. My god, this is going to be fun. But the rules of this tournament, all matches of this tournament are going to be submission matches. You can lose via disqualification and countout, but there are no pinfalls. You win by submission, unless there's a countout or disqualification, of course. But with a submission title, we can also there will also be no disqualification sub, uh, submission matches. There will be Hell in a Cell submission matches. Uh, th th maybe even an Iron Man submission match. Just basically any kind of stipulation we want, as long as the submission is in there somewhere in the equation. But this is basically... So it's who it's the Tappy Boys belt. It's the Tappy Boys belt. Which makes I sense, because it. I do the TAP, the Totally Awesome Podcast. Worst podcast you've ever heard. If either of these guys tap out, they're going to lose. That's so, right. It's the Battle of and, Silva versus Square Jaw McGraw. Uh, and I, I feel like I already know who you have winning this matchup, Sean. I like how two-thirds of Zack Sabre Jr.'s initials are SJ for Square and Jaw. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, uh, I, but, oh my god, Anderson not wasting any time with some devastating hey, listen, strikes. It's not a knock on his wrestling ability. It, I'm not saying anything about his wrestling ability. Hey. I'm just stating the fact that he has a very square head. Hey, The Undertaker is one of the most legendary wrestlers of all time, but he's an ugly dude. But my god, Anderson... With a springboard forearm, man, the time oh, off of what TA the Undertaker had to do with this. I don't know why you're bashing the Undertaker. He's, he's not an attractive dude, but he's a he's legendary not in the match. He's <laughs> <laughs> Samoan Driver, Samoan Driver by Anderson Silva. 
I was trying to make a point about how looks don't matter. <laughs> unless you wrestle for Vince McMahon. But, uh... Zack Sabre Jr. could very well beat Anderson Silva. How long has possible. Vincent Silva's been in a ring? Again, it's been a long time, but he's got him in a gory special. But look at that counter. Look, that was beautiful into the arm drag. It was, but he is not as fast as Anderson Silva used to be. It took a minute for him to get up. Oh, yeah. And, Zach oh. Sabre Jr. definitely has more physical conditioning. Mm -hmm. And that was a smart move right there. I think at this stage than Silva does. Yeah, and now Zach, now Zach doesn't normally go to the top rope. I don't know how smart this is, but that was a nice scoop slam on the arm. And that right there is exactly why Anderson Silva just ducking that missile drop kick. And look at this combination. And oh, and he busted open Zack Sabre Jr. with that knee strike. Wow. Damn. Wow. Oh, that's very, very fast for yeah. a square jaw to turn into a crimson mask. Yeah, man. Anderson Silva's like, yeah, maybe he heard what you said. And he's like, you want to talk about so, ring you know, rust? That's a thing that I don't have. anymore, yeah. And oh, <laughs> knees to the spine. Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, you can get it counted out or disqualified in this matchup. But the main thing is getting a submission victory. Basically, this title is designed around the more ta technical aspect of professional wrestling. And look at these soup bones by Anderson Silva, man. Zach has not get gotten a lot of offense in this matchup. It's been mostly Anderson Silva. And now look at this, throwing him into the ropes and already bleeding like a stuck pig. And now, what is Anderson doing here? Bouncing off the ropes and oh, discus uh, elbow right to the jaw. Man, Anderson has been all over Zack Sabre Jr. since the second this match started. I know. And, oh, and counter so with an Insiguri. Man. And honestly, I was going to say I have Zack winning this match, but he needs to start showing me something here. And now this is more what we were expecting. There's a Fujiwara arm bar. Now, very nicely done by Zack. And he attacked the arm earlier with that arm lock scoop slam. And now it looks like Zack Sabre Jr. has found his target. And, oh, just trying to twist that arm out of socket. Well, Damn. it's smart to do. I mean, Zack Sabre Jr., he's a lot more grounded of an athlete. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It's like Anderson Silva, he gets a little wild and, and, you know, a little too overzealous sometimes with his strikes. Mm -hmm. Where Zack Sabre Jr., he's got time. Oh, God. That was a nice springboard time. kick. That was a very nice springboard kick. And now, yeah, but how smart is Zack Sabre Jr. getting out of the ring uh, after that? Hold that thought. Oh, what a diving punch by wow. Anderson Silva. That was nuts. Oh, but Zack firing back with his own suit bones. Again, Anderson absolutely has the striking advantage, but he needs to be careful trying to mix it up technically with Zack Sabre Jr. Because Zack is world-renowned for his grappling ability. And honestly, you one could argue that the Submission Championship is basically a title designed for people like Zack Sabre Jr. And now, well, I mean, it, especially because as far as the submission styles of an Anderson Silva in the UFC versus a wrestler like Zack Sabre Jr., mm -hmm. it, it's I, I think it lends itself more to what Zack Sabre Jr.'s wheelhouse entails mm -hmm. than it does for what Silva does because Silva's going to get gassed fast. Oh! Spinning have, discus elbow again. He may have hard strikes, but Zack Sabre Jr.'s got the, the, the knowledge base. <laughs> Dear and, but God. But man, does Anderson Silva have the strike? The more I talk about what Anderson Silva doesn't have, the more he hits him. He, the more he's like, oh yeah, motherfucker? You <laughs> have an earpiece? Like, <laughs> I don't on? know. But man, Zack, he, he's been showing me some stuff here and there, but most of this match has been Anderson Silva. And Zack needs to protect his head. Because, like, let's say he knocks him out with a, a strike and then locks on a submission hold. That's game over. Well, the more blood you lose, the less able you are to fight back. But that was a nice float over off that Russian leg sweep by Zack Sabre Jr. And now, oh, big right hand. And now Zack with another Russian leg sweep. But now turning that, the octopus! The octopus! The octopus! Uh, tap out! So is he gonna? Octopus. Is he gonna tap out? He hasn't tapped Wait, out he, yet. Is he gonna tap he's out? Close. Uh, but look at the angle. He, bless you. He didn't tap out. He didn't tap out. He punched him in the face. Anyway, he octopused him so hard the ink got in uh, Sean's face and made him sneeze. Is it on? Is uh, yeah. It on? Yeah. I your, sneezed my headset off. <laughs> your headset went flying. But man, I was just about to say that. Oh, and a spear! A spear by Anderson Silva. Oh my God. Wow. Like really trying to show that he's been adding to his arsenal. But what is this? 
Cobra Clutch Crossface. Wow. This is, this is insane. Dude, Anderson Silva has been, apparently he's been doing a lot since his time off of TAW. Learned several new holds, but uh, uh, Zach trying to get out of it with some elbows. Look, he, oh, he elbowed him right in the mouth to get the, out of that hole, but oh, now Zack Sabre Jr. finally starting to build some momentum here. He caught the leg, and a nice inside trip by Zack Sabre Jr., who's got who's starting to feel it now, ladies and gentlemen. But again, he's absorbed a lot of damage in this matchup, but this right here, manipulating the body, is Zack Sabre Jr.'s wheelhouse. Oh, now look at this. Going after that arm that he's been working on the entire match. And now here comes some joint manipulation. And now, and oh, the knees right to the spine. And I think Zack Sabre Jr. has gotten a second wind here. And maybe the conditioning you were talking about earlier, Sean, is now coming into play. What is... Yeah, this is this is where it favors Zack Sabre Jr. Oh, look at this. Got, going for the Romero special. He's got him up. Can Anderson Silva survive this? Oh, wait a second. Adjusting it. Oh, and uh, throwing a dragon sleeper on top of it, and he's nowhere wow. near the ropes. This wow. might be it. That can, is intense. And Anderson That's Silva has that no intense. choice but to t but to submit. Wow. Wow. I mean, he got he had him right in the middle of the ring in that move, and there was literally no nowhere to go. It was either oh, tap thanks. out, it was either tap out or pass out. But Zack Saber Jr. moves on to the next round of this submission tournament. Look, Zack Sabre Jr., say what you want about him and, and his technique in, in bigger and larger spheres, but this man, he knows how to get it done when it comes to submission catches, catch can wrestling. And this guy is maybe the best at it. And will he be able to capture that submission championship on a show where Josh again loves him the most and there's no <laughs> bonuses? But anyway, speaking of bonuses, ladies and gentlemen, up next is our second bonus match. It is a six-pack challenge. Six people in the ring. The first person to get a pinfall or a submission wins the match. There are no count-outs and no disqualifications. And the winner of this match can choose whether or not they want to face whoever wins the XTW Global title or the XTW Lightning Weight title. So they get to pick a championship that they want to pursue, unless they're heavier than Lightning Weight, in which case they'll automatically go for the Global title. So we have six people in this matchup vying for a championship opportunity. And here comes your boy, Sean, Kermit the Frog. Oh, I'm ready to make an impression here in this six-pack challenge. Yes, I wonder how many six-packs Kermit... Because Kermit, how many six-packs do you go through in a day? I, I stopped drinking after I hated Budweiser. <laughs> I'm a big Kermit, fan of Kermit Kid Rock. Right out of the gate. Right out of the wow. gate. <laughs> right out of the gate. Kermit, like, all right, I'm just gonna go ahead and yeah. I don't know no, why we're surprised. I know, this is literally. Oh, speaking of surprising, <laughs> <laughs> this, this guy. It gets me every time. Why? I love it. Who? I, love it. I don't understand, Kermit. First the politics, and then setting everything on fire. Kermit the Frog is literally rolling in a dead Jim Henson's money. He could give a shit how much pyro <laughs> is coming behind him. He doesn't care how much it costs. And now to kill the vibe, here comes Alex Mercer. Alex <laughs> Mercer. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude. Oh, I'm so glad you signed Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> dude, all right, so... And the reason why Kermit and Alex are in this matchup, Kermit the Frog defeated uh, Crash Bandicoot on the final episode of UCT, and Alex Mercer defeated Goku Black in the edgiest match ever on the final episode of XAW. So we're going to see some familiar faces in this matchup, and maybe a couple debuts. Well, let's, it's going to be wild to see who's going to be able to show up here and make a name for themselves. Every matchup is a key matchup if mm -hmm. you play your cards right and again once again ladies and gentlemen this is the beginning of a new era not not like an AEW where every other show is oh, we're in a new era now because the previous one went so well this is a legitimate new era because there's a brand new two brand new shows and we are kicking things off right here and oh, oh here comes Carlito in this matchup Man. This man spits in the face of people who don't want to be cool. He should spit in the face of whoever made his god-awful new entrance music in WWE. Because that sure as hell wasn't it's cool. It's pretty bad. It's, it's, pretty it's bad. rotten. Like, I love Carlito, but, but the last time we saw Carlito, on the final episode of XAW, him and Shelton Benjamin lost that tag team title ladder match. And then Carlito 
demolished Shelton Benjamin backstage. Like, threw him through a soda machine. It was pretty brutal. Yeah, and Shelton Benjamin is currently on the injured reserve list, and we don't know how long it's going to be before he comes back. But you know that when he comes back, he's got Carlito in Target his crosshairs. Yeah, absolutely. And here comes uh, the next competitor in this matchup, Spider-Man, although someone in production turned the lights off. It's very. It's even darker than Alex Excuse Mercer. Me, sir? <laughs> sir, this isn't Bellini. Somebody get up there. No, this this is regular Spider-Man. I don't know why it's so dark in the arena thus <laughs> far. We uh, did see him a couple weeks ago. Actually, it was about a month ago when he had that matchup with Eric Draven where the winner went to TAW and the loser came to XTW. So this is his first official XTW matchup. Can he translate his loss in that one match to success here tonight? <laughs> I guess he just showed up in the dark. Yeah. And okay. I, I, I'm not sure why. That here, was tremendous. Here comes uh, competitor number five here in this six-pack challenge. Oh, I guess, I guess because he didn't want to get associated with Tobey Maguire, who is just on a different level right now. Yeah, the, the current, so the, the actual, he just, the actual CIW heavyweight champion. Yes, correct. Oh, and here comes Tetsuya Naito, who defeated oh, Tetsuya Naito, who defeated Logan Paul on the final episode of UCT in a tremendous matchup. And yeah. yeah, so honestly, I don't know who to root for in this matchup, although we still don't know who the sixth person in this matchup is. But again, the stakes for winning this matchup, if you win this match, uh, you can choose either the XTW Global title, which will be dis determined later tonight, or the XTW Lightningweight title. Although uh, I assume that like um, Alex Mercer isn't really a Lightningweight, so I guess he would just immediately go after the Global title. But like, let's say Kermit the Frog wins, then he can choose either the Lightning Weight title or the Global title. So it depends on your weight class. And your championship preference, of course. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, once again, the rules for this matchup. This is not elimination. The first person to get a pinfall or submission in this matchup wins and will be able to pick their ch uh, champion of choice, unless they're uh, a regular sized person, uh, and not a Muppet. Uh, but here comes the final competitor in I don't this know matchup. What you're referring to by there, I will fall a lawsuit. <laughs> oh, here, the White Power Ranger, going by his real name for some reason. Okay, Tommy's fourth, here. Fourth wall time. Whoever made this, you did a tremendous job. It looks well, good. Like holy shit, that looks good. He's in tremendous shape. Yes, and he, man. you can see a six pack through his shirt. <laughs> yeah, that, that is a very dude, definitive six pack. Dude, when even your Power Ranger suit cannot deny the eight yes. pack that you have, that's when you know yeah. that and you it's should not padded, folks. That yeah. is skin tight. Like it's bursting through his armor. It is. <laughs> So, Sean, who you got winning? I feel like I already know the answer to this question, but who do you have winning this matchup? It's the man who's sitting in the corner watching Tommy walk into this. Let's, oh, oh. let's go Kermit. Oh, God. This is going to be absolutely chaotic. This uh, yeah. On White Ranger. Oh, oh, my God. White Ranger with a huge springboard DDT and Carlito with a massive clothesline. So, is this the first pin or the last mofo standing? Uh, last, uh, the first person... To get a pinfall or submission wins the match. First fall to a finish. First fall, okay. So, it's going to be wild. Because you know the second anyone tries to win the match, you're going to have like a oh, hundred different people. Yeah, you're, they're going to dogpile you to keep the match going. Oh, no doubt. But on, I honestly have no idea who I want to win. Because I, I would be okay with literally anyone winning this match. Yeah, this is quite a good setup here. I mean, yeah. Tommy could easily make his impression here. And uh, this is the first we've ever seen Tommy here in uh, TAW, is that correct? Uh, I believe so. This is the first Power Ranger in general that we've seen here in TAW. Wow. And uh, Kermit the Frog has a little bit of momentum. He defeated Crash Bandicoot. Alex Mercer won his debut match. Tetsuya Naito won his debut match. Carlito is still fuming over losing the XAW tag team titles. So, And Spider-Man wants to win put a win on the board because his... Yeah, it's yeah. Getting a win is all that Spider-Man could ask for. He yeah. lost to Bonesaw McGraw for Christ's sake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Alex Mercer already with oh a kendo God. stick. Dear God. And already busting Carlito open with a Why? kendo stick. That was so unnecessary. You know what? I'm I, I'm pulling for Alex Mercer in this match because you know how I am about anything that's even remotely edgy. Yes, I do. I literally I, have I someone signed. Do. Oh, wait a second. It's, oh, White Ranger with a devastating. I don't even know what you call that reverse DDT uh, 
Falcon Arrow type move thing that he just did to Spider Man, but this is this is gonna be foot on the gas, <laughs> full throttle. Kermit Kirk, looked like he was gonna do a springboard, but he just and, Oh no! <laughs> Spider Man's like, did you say springboard? Oh man, and a Northern Lights suplex oh, right into right, into, right, right into a brain buster on the brain outside. Buster. And an, oh, and an inverted atomic drop, and Kermit's like, oh, my nuts. Uh, and, and oh, my hey, God. I'm afraid that you can't hurt testicles because they don't exist on me. I'm a Muppet, not a man. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I love that in 2024, of the year of our Lord, we could say the phrase, Tetsuya Naito gave Kermit the Frog an inverted atomic drop. <laughs> He sure did. He, that is a match I want to see. Yes, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, it's Spider-Man. No, please, don't tell Tony Khan. He'll actually make it happen. No, it's oh, six, six uh, one nine. The Spider-1, the 6-1 Spider. And he tried to do something to Alex Mercer, but it just did not work. Uh, and now, just throwing him into the barricade. And now, <laughs> Tetsuya Naito with a back suplex on Kermit the Frog. And now into the cover. One. <laughs> and, oh, but White Ranger breaking it up. And now Alex Mercer right next to our announce table. Just launching oh, Spider-Man spine first into the ground. And now Naito with a reverse DDT on Carlito. Dude, Naito and Carlito would be a fun match. But White Ranger top rope shooting star press. On wow, Kermit the Frog the cover. He got. One. Oh, but Carlito. Oh! Naito with that basement drop kick. So much happening right now. And again, this is not elimination style. The first person to get a pin or submission wins. So you can feel the desperation whenever anyone tries to break up a, that, a submission like he just had right there or a pinfall. And now Kermit the Frog with a Fujiwara armbar on Tetsuya Naito. This is the best thing I've ever seen. Uh, you know, this, we've got to get a one-on-one -on -one match. And a stunner. A stunner I by need Mercer. To see this matchup now. Oh, oh man. I 110% I agree. Oh, uh, this is glorious. Uh, and now Spider Man with a chair. And we've got multiple kendo sticks and oh, steel chair right to the face of the White Power Ranger as Kermit is and celebrating. Is chaos. And a monkey flip on Carlito. Oh, Lord. This this is wild. This is pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys are enjoying XTWFF Fusion. Uh, this, this yes, is, where's my polymerization card? Yeah. This oddly feels like a TAWTF match for some reason, but that the, this freaking basement slide drop kick by Naito is ridiculous. Could it be the Power Ranger, the oh, Edgy Guy, or the Frog Muppet? <laughs> on, on a, uh, Carlitos. Or the actual wrestlers. <laughs> or the actual wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> that remains to be seen, Sean. But notice I did not mention Spider Man. That's no, clearly not. It. No, no, no. no. <laughs> or the or the literal <laughs> superhero. <laughs> That's right. Well, by the way, I didn't mention that we have a brand new referee for this show. Uh, Zach Efron, our referee for the first couple matches tonight. Okay, all right. Welcome, Zach. And another reverse DDT. He's got a good body. He knows, he knows wrestling now. Yeah, yeah, he does. I want to see that movie that he was in. Me too. I, I want to see the Iron Claw very much. I haven't gotten the chance to yet. I've heard it's very good. And, oh, Me but too. speaking of very good, oh, covered by Spider-Man, one, two, but only a two. That, that big uh, kick right to the face busted open the White Ranger. And now Alex Mercer bringing in that kendo stick. And now Naito with another chair. As this just... And oh, now Spider-Man's been busted wide open. And Carlito just stole Destino. First Logan Paul steals... The disrespect. First Logan Paul does it. And now Carlito steals the Destino. Just is, is Tetsuya's Naito's finishing move just not safe. Oh, and Ray. Oh, 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 oh. The White Power Ranger with a spine buster on Kermit on a chair. That was brutal. We can also Damn, now say, in tw we can now also say in 2024, Kermit the Frog just got a spine buster on a chair. Uh, I can't feel my pelvis anymore. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. And a d massive springboard clothesline. Also on the chair. And now into the cover. One, One, two, oh, and oh, a kick out oh, by Kermit, Kermit at two. Kermit out. showing some resiliency here as this matchup continues. And now Naito with a DDT. Oh, well, I, I couldn't tell. And White Ranger steals the Mercer virus. Cover one. I'm going to cover one. 
two, but Alex kicks out of two. Two finishing moves have been stolen in this matchup. A bunch of thieves in this match. Yeah, seriously. I know. White, White Ranger. My God, did you see that backflip oh, German? I did. Dude, the White Ranger came to play here in this matchup. He's on another level here today in his debut. Yeah, I mean, dude, this is so impressive. And now Naito, like a springboard moonsault. Beautiful springboard. And that was not a lot of room that he had to do that. And now old Kermit with a big DDT cover by White Ranger. One, two. Oh, but Spider-Man kicks out at two. Man, that was close. And White Ranger right there. You can see it in his face, even though he has a mask. But, like, he was like, everyone was outside the ring, and he had it, but Spider-Man kicked out. He knew that that was his opportunity to win this match. But a blue thunderbomb as Alex White Mercer. White thunderbomb. Uh, yeah, you're, you know what? You're right. The White thunderbomb. And, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no! Z Zach Efron just got. He just got double whammied by both Naito and the White that Ranger. Guy did a rock in a hard place. My God! First Naito knocks him down, and then the White Ranger accidentally gives him a senton. Hashtag oh. save a TAW referee today. Oh, but he's back up. Say what you want. He's back up. I mean, uh, that's why we got it. Zach Efron because he's fit. He's built to be Knows a referee. How to take a bump. Knows how to take a bump. But a, a nice insiguri by Kermit the Frog, and now Kermit the Frog has an opportunity here, and now Kermit with a frog splash. Got him. Oh, let's be on, enough. Kermit. Into the cover, Come hooking on, the leg. No, and Zach, oh, cover. One. Two. Come on, Zach. Yeah. Count him. Three. Kermit the yeah. Frog wins. Woo. Kermit the Frog wins. Uh, Alex Mercer was right there, but I think he had too much blood in his eyes to be able to see to break up the pin. That was the most deliberate three count I have ever seen in my life. To be fair, he did just get double whammy by he Naito did. and he a Power Ranger. <laughs> So you know what? I'll give that one a pass. No but more Budweiser for anybody. <laughs> okay, Kermit. All right, Kermit. Kermit. That's Kermit. enough. But that's oh, enough. Uh, and, oh, speaking of uh, that's enough. Uh, man, we were so happy, and now we're just, now we're sad. This dude is a mood killer. But you are you have been on the ball tonight, Sean. But up next, the Joker and his alleged CIW Open Challenge. We're going to find out who you selected to take on the Joker to win look, the quote-unquote real CIW championship. Look, if, if he's going to pretend that that's a real belt, then I'm going to give him a challenger that I believe is truly better than he is and is somebody who is a real wrestler, hmm. who is a real man, who has real integrity. So I'm excited to see who you picked. I cannot wait. To watch this happen, and honestly, and I, honestly, I'm rooting for whoever you picked because I, I, I'm, I'm, ju I'm just as disgusted about this as you are. Like, yeah. I don't want this. To, like, no I, one wanted this. No one wanted this except him. Yeah, except him. And now he's just this whole thing with the pre-show is showing up. He had no reason to mm -hmm. him being here just to fuck with me. Yeah. Okay. okay. Here we I go. Know. Who did you select? Let's go. Let's go. Wow. All Let's right. Go. My boy. I mean, you've been My very high on this God. man. Here comes Aaron Kordeski. Listen, if I'm if this guy is gonna make a joke out of a belt that has actual lineage to it, which we no longer recognize because it was defiled by a disgusting human being, then it's at least going to be taken from him by a man with respect. And that is somebody that I know has the potential to do it. We saw him win convincingly just a few nights ago. Yeah, yesterday on the pre-show, he defeated, very soundly defeated Wade Barrett and survived one hell of a bull hammer. Yeah, the, the resilience of this man, he will be able to withstand a Joker driver, I think. Yeah, and, or the ace in the hole, or maybe even the brass nuts that he used on you. But we, Oh, that thank you for bringing that up. I'm, I'm the, my... Wounds are healing yeah. still. Not so, the physical ones, the emotional scars. So we both have Aaron winning. Would you like to know how I got these scars? No, you saw it. You saw <laughs> yes, it. I did, and I called it, and I was sad. You fucking asshole. But let's say Aaron Kordeski wins this match, and he's mm -hmm. the, the quote-unquote real CIW champion. Are we looking at some kind of unification match between him and Black Suit Spider-Man? I would definitely sign him. Okay. I mean, at this point... Spider-Man is the champion. Okay. There's, there's no debate about that. It's, it's, it's not a recognized belt. But the Joker wants to do this to prove a point 
to me and humiliate me, I guess. Yeah. I mean, that, he, he gets off on that shit. He gets off on that shit. I know he does. He did it to you for eight years. Yes, he did, and it was infuriating. And he just got bored with you. Yeah, apparently. Figured out to find someone else to fuck. With. That and the supremacy kind of cut him off at the pass. But some nice chain grappling to start off this matchup here. Both trying some submissions uh, right out of the gate. But a nice fireman's carry takedown by Aaron Kordeski. Well, and I'm going to give you another reason why I chose Aaron Kordeski as well. Mm -hmm. The Joker expected me to bring in a big name. Mm -hmm. He expected me to bring in a top guy. Oh, power this slam. is the exact kind of underdog that makes magic one. happen. Got a one count right there off that big power slam. First pinfall attempt of the match. And this is a CI... Well, a quote-unquote real CIW championship match. So pinfall, submissions, countouts, and disqualifications are all in effect here for this title, but a nice back suplex neck breaker. And as, oh look, oh look at this, Joker, Full Nelson, into a dragon suplex, cut, a pin, one, two. Oh, Aaron. Oh, Aaron. Oh. Nice kick out there by Aaron Kordeski. Again, survived a bull hammer like a split second into the match with Wade Barrett 24 hours ago. So the dude has, he's got a ton of resiliency. Oh, no he Joker. totally does. And the oh. fact that he was so willing to take on this match when it happened. I mean, he he basically, I talked to him right after this, you know, he showed up. Oh, what a leg Man, drop. leg drop guillotine, and now the Joker springboard, oh, knee right to the face. And, and But I talked to Kordeski right after his match, and the Joker made his challenge, and he actually approached me. Wow. Saying, let me do this for you. Wow. This is a guy, we, we've become friends over the past several times you've had me on, and I've got to talk about him, mm -hmm. and, and I've got to see him. You know, he's got loads of potential, man. His, his future's bright. I mean, he's his a former, very bright. He's a former XIW US champion, but all the... Oh, Joker with a flying knee strike. Oh, yeah, you proud of yourself? You're really proud of yourself. Don't, I will. Sean, Sean, Sean. Easy, easy, easy. If you get involved, it'll I be know, a disqualification. I know, I know. I know. Got it. Like, save it for after the match. <laughs> Piss me off sometimes, man. Uh, oh, now the Joker's got him back in the ring. And now the Joker with a curb stomp right to the skull. On right in the drop zone. Frog splash. Now into the cover. On, One, Aaron. two. Out, oh, and a kick out at two by Aaron Kordeski. Again, He's still oh, in this, man. Oh, that was a nice punch right to the face. Now going for a choke slam. Oh, counter. Counter with some elbows. Now Aaron Kordeski with a roll up. Schoolboy. One, two. Oh, that was close. The oh, Joker able to, able to get out. And now another cover. One. Oh, but at the one, look oh, at the, the bridge. The double bridge. And now backslide. One, look at two. This oh. Joker able to get out of that backslide attempt. And now Aaron. Yeah, I, I don't think Ooh. Joker expected Kordeski to have this kind of resilience here as Joker has been really laying in some heavy strikes. And, oh, another frog splash. And Aaron Kordeski is in a lot of trouble here. First the big boot, then the frog yeah, splash. Oh, and we know oh, what no. that means. We've oh, seen this before. No. Oh, oh, setting up for the ace in the hole. Ace in the hole connects. Oh, no. Oh, Come on, Aaron. Oh, and now just on, being it. Oh, just what an ass. Cover one, on, two. No, Aaron Kordeski yes. kicks out of the ace in the hole. Of course. Come on, Aaron. Come on, Aaron. Again, we're supposed to be unbiased, but come on. This dude has been such a, an unbearable ass. Listen, like, Aaron is close. It doesn't take much for Aaron to come back. We saw how quickly he took care of Wade Barrett. He yeah. plays the long and, game. Oh, really? The Joker with a thumb to the eye. Classy. What a, what a cat. Oh, but oh, Aaron Kordeski firing back. Oh, nice drop kick. Nice drop what kick. A counter. He was able to bounce back from that. And again, this is, it wouldn't even be the first time that Aaron Kordeski has impressed us with uh, his resiliency in back-to-back -back matches. He once beat the Ultimate Beast and John Cena on the same That's night. That's right. That's you know, Aaron right. Kordeski with a huge famouser oh. from the top rope, just like he that did to huge. just like he did to Wade Barrett last night. Barrett. And now throwing him back into the ring. Come on, Aaron! Hit him with the pride before the fall. That's how he defeated Wade Barrett and another oh, famouser. Oh, he got it so fast. Come oh, no. on, Aaron. Oh, here we go. Setting up for it. Pride before He's the fall should do it. If he can connect. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, he's stealing the Joker driver. The Joker driver. Is that it? One, two. No. One, two. Oh, oh, my God. That was close. Oh, man. Oh, back drop, back drop. Oh, counter, counter by the Joker. Roll up. One, two. Oh, counter by Aaron. Come on, Aaron. One, two. Damn it. Oh, he has one. He's got the tights. He's got the tights. Oh, he's got the tights. You piece 
piece of shit. He grabbed the tights. You son of a bitch. <sighs> Dude. Well, that just killed the mood. That was Kordeski's win. <sighs> Are you are you serious? How, how could the Joker be proud of this? Oh, don't don't come over here. Don't come over here. Oh yeah, you really you really uh, Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Sean has thrown you Sweet. Your time's coming, man. Oh shit. Your Sean, time's coming. Sean I'm out, son of a fuck you. Fuck this guy. Wow, Sean just threw his headset. Sean is storming to the back. Wow. I I I, I don't even know what to say, ladies and gentlemen, but we we'll, we'll be right back in a few moments. Now I want to give a shout out and a thank you to Blattville Brides for the XTWFF Fusion theme song, Born Again, off of their album The Phantom Tomorrow that came out in 2021. It's an awesome song, and you can listen to it basically anywhere you can listen to music. Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube Music, etc. Now back to the show. All right, and up next is the FF Tag Team title match, uh, one of our many uh, title unification matches tonight. Uh, unfortunately, Sean has left the commentary booth. Damn you, Joker. You pissed off my color commentator so much that he refuses to do commentary for the rest of the night. He's just gone now. I think he left the building. So, it's just, I guess it's just me for the rest of the night. Thanks, Joker. Thanks a lot. Uh, but as we try to um, get back to the task at hand here, we have the first of many uh, title unification matches here tonight. Here come what were... The TAW Femfatal Tag Team Champions, the Mean Green Machines, or Sean would call them the Green Bazongas of Glory, uh, Princess Fiona and the Statue of Liberty, and they're going to take on who were the UCT Femfatal Tag Team Champions, the Jigglypuffs, to determine the first ever FF Tag Team Champions. Now, um, of, of course, the TAW and UCT Femfatal ta Tag Team titles no longer exist. All champions that come into the show are, n as of this show, no longer champion. Unless they win their title match here tonight, the only person the exception for that is going to be is uh, Woody. Woody, his t since he was coming into the show at, uh, to defend his title and not unify it with a different title, uh, he just went from being the UCT Lightning Weight Champion to the XTW Lightning Weight Champion. But we'll get into that later. Here come the Jigglypuffs, and these two teams absolutely despise each other. It has been a game of one upsman or one ups woman ship, I guess. One ups woman ship uh, over the past several months. I remember that Princess Fiona had two matches against Misty, and in the first one, uh, she beat Misty both times. But the first one was really unfair because of uh, attacks before the match even started. So, yet yeah, these two teams have been in each other's throats for uh, months now, leading up to this event. Uh, who's walking out of, of Fusion as the first ever FF Tag Team Champions? Of course. Uh, Statue of Liberty and Princess Fiona defeated Samara Morgan and Kyoko to win their tag team titles, and the Jigglypuffs defeated Guns and Pizza to win their tag team titles. So both of these teams know how to get it done. There are the brand new FF tag team titles, and they will go to whoever wins this matchup. Whichever team wins this match, and here we go. We're starting with Dawn and Fiona. 
the only singles match we have not seen, I, I believe... Actually, I... And oh, already, not at all surprising. Already going after Misty. Like, poor Misty has just been the butt of all of the abuse in a lot of this feud as of late. Um, but yeah, I, I think the one time that Dawn and Fiona did go one-on-one, -on -one, it, it, it ended via disqualification. I could be wrong, but a fall-away slam as this match is uh, now underway. And not a good start for the Jigglypuffs. Tag mate, here comes the Statue of Liberty. When, uh, oh, dear God. And a huge double choke slam, but Dawn right back up. The, oh, went for a shoulder block, but not able to knock her down. And Dawn responding with a swinging neckbreaker. Nice response by Dawn, trying to get back into this uh, this thing for the Jigglypuffs. And now, oh, knocking Statue of Liberty into the ropes and now throwing her into the corner. And tag mate, here comes Misty. Oh, and look at this, sticking the feet out, and oh, throwing the Statue of Liberty face first right into Misty's feet. And now go behind, and again, this is for the FF Tag Team Titles, and Misty is not happy. One, like I said earlier, Misty has gotten demolished so many times by these two. I, she's probably sick and tired of it. But a tag made, and here comes Fiona. This is not going to help matters at all, and just whiplashing her into the turnbuckle. Beast mode, indeed. That sign in the crowd. And uh, since this match uh, is uh, is determining the new wait, what what is Fiona doing? Fiona on the oh no, she's gonna she's gonna squash Misty. It's oh what a splash! Just crushing Misty. Uh, I would have went for the pin off that, but a big headbutt. But as I was about to say, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as Misty just gets launched right out of the ring, and now Fiona going right after oh right after Dawn, sending her flying to the outside with that rope stunner. Drop it, but a block, but. Since uh, the championships are vacant right now, um, if there is a pinfall, submissions, countout, or a disqualification in this match, that will determine who gets the title. So this is one of the rare matches where a countout or disqualification can force a title to go to uh, a whatever team. And that goes for uh, all of the title matches tonight except for the Lightning Whip title, but we'll get to that. Uh, but a nice Hurricane Rana takedown by Misty. And a tag made. Here comes Dawn once again. And oh, what a chop! And that one, man, that discombobulated Fiona. Oh, and speaking of being discombobulated, and oh, what a pile driver right on the tiara! How did that not embed that tiara into her brain and kill her? Uh, perhaps because she's an ogre. She's got that really thick ogre skin, which I was about to say. Is it? Would it be weird for me to say that's very hard to penetrate? Uh, I feel like Shrek would dis would disagree. Okay, this is going off the rails. Ta double tags back to the action before I get this show canceled mid pay per view. Anyway, I'll, yeah, I don't think Misty is going to uh, out grapple the Statue of Liberty and just gets launched across the ring. And again, oh, but this time Don saw it coming and a big sharp forearm right to the jaw of the Statue of Liberty. Man, I, I, that, I think that discombobulated the Statue of Liberty, now throwing her back into the corner. That was a much-needed counter by Don. And oh, are we about to see it, ladies and gentlemen? The Magnation Elbow connects. Take a uh, take a drink. Uh, take, take a drink. Take a shot of whatever you happen to be eating or drinking, as I forget how the English language works. I still, I'm, I'm still, my, I myself am discombobulated because Sean's no longer here. And I, oh, look at this. Big Fisherwoman suplex. I, the plan was for him to be on commentary with me for the entire show, and the Joker just ruined it. So, thanks once again, thanks a lot, Joker. But a DDT, and Dawn is just all over Lady Liberty right now. And another elbow to the back. And oh, look at this. Oh, what a forearm! Knocking Fiona right off the apron. That was nasty. Man, that, that was a vicious forearm right there, but... That distraction may have uh, paid dividends for the Statue of Liberty, who is now building momentum. And now throwing her into the corner. And, oh, a nice hip attack. Oh, Misty tried to tag herself in. But, oh, and a spear! And this is not looking good for the Jigglypuffs. Tag made. Here comes Fiona once again. Oh, but a nip up by Dawn. And now, oh, Dawn trying to fire back. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Fiona. Fiona perhaps going to set up for that jackhammer. She's got her up and plants Dawn. Now into the cover. One, two. Oh, that was close. Almost pinned Dawn off of that right there. And Fiona going after Misty. Oh, but that distraction might work out for Dawn. And a kip up off the forearm. And now Dawn is building momentum. And the, the tides are turning in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. And off that slam. Oh, wait. What is Dawn going to go for here? 
Some more str oh, going for another pile driver and another pile driver on Fiona. Pin her, Don. And now Don into the cover hook in the leg. Will this be enough? One, two. Oh, the, man, that was close. I think Alfred took it. Oh, oh, look at this. Fiona immediately responding with the Ogre's strongest slam. That might be it for Don. And now into the cover hook in the leg. One, two. Two, oh, the Misty breaks it up just in the nick of time. That was close. Some very close near falls. Several times, we almost saw the first ever FF Tag Team Champions uh, take shape right there. That was close. And all oh, making Misty pay for breaking that up. Man, what a what an intense match. And oh, super kick! Super kick to right in the temple. Fiona has got to be unconscious. Into the cover off that devastating super kick. But the Statue of Liberty right there to break it up. Man, tit for tat, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what a big punch. And Fiona's got to be groggy, but she got super kicked right in the temple. And double tag, Statue of Liberty and Misty now back in play. Oh, and a spinning heel kick by Misty. Now into the cover off the wheel kick. One, two, but Fiona breaks it up. Man, both some solid tag team work all around by both teams in this matchup. And Alfred on the ball here. Oh, but again, you're not going to outpower the Statue of Liberty. Now Statue of Liberty top rope, and oh, big splash, and now cover on Misty. One, two, uh, not, barely a two. Uh, it took the referee a second to get into position because there was so much chaos around him. Oh, look at this, and a big black hole slam on Misty. And the Jigglypuffs are once again in trouble. They're, they had an opportunity to win it right there with that devastating super kick, but it was not to be. And now it looks like they're back to square one here with the, with the mean green machines. What is, what is Statue of Liberty doing here? A big exploder suplex. Man, again, the power is hard to combat here. Statue of Liberty. Oh, oh, gets countered. Nice counter by Misty and a shot to the gut. Can Misty follow up? Oh, oh counter, counter, double leg takedown. Stacking her up. One, two. Oh, and a kick out at two by Misty. That that was close. A shot to the gut. And now, oh, Statue of Liberty going for another exploder suplex and just throwing her across the ring. And Misty is in a world of trouble right now. She needs to tag out to Dawn. But uh, from this position, she's not going to be able to do that. Come on, Statue of Liberty with a huge spine buster. Devastating spine buster. And off the spine buster. Oh, if she hits the spear, this should do it. Oh, Misty's in trouble. And just cutting her in half. And Fiona taking care of Dawn. That's it. New champions. Into the cover off the spear. One, two. No, Misty kicks out. Near fall after near fall, and oh, discus forearm, Misty trying to fire back. Man, I thought that spear would have done it. We almost had new champions. Oh, Misty firing back, just going for an, uh, uh, a, uh, an abdominal stretch here. Uh, interesting move, perhaps trying to wind down the Statue of Liberty, but again, she's too big for that. I mean, I get what Misty's trying to go for, but work smarter, not harder. But again, and oh, went for a kick. And accidentally got Fiona. And now Misty's suplexing Fiona into the... Misty is just going ape shit right now. But again, going to pay for it with a big back suplex by the Statue of Liberty. And off that suplex, now a half Boston Crab working on the back. Of Man, Misty might tap to this. But Dawn right there in the nick of time to break it up. Oh, and oh the Statue of Liberty is... Oh, double punch! Oh, and Misty taking advantage of that with a Bulldog. Man, the twists and turns in this match... Now a cover. One, two. Oh, but Lady Liberty kicks out at two. And oh, runs right into a shoulder block. Man, this has been an intense tag team matchup to determine the first ever FF Tag Team Champions. Who's going to win this thing, ladies and gentlemen? And I got to give credit to the Jigglypuffs who have stayed in this contest. And now, oh man, this has been so intense. And now Misty trying to get her into friendly territory. Tag made, there we go. Are we going to see another Magnation Elbow take a shot of whatever you happen to be eating or drinking once again? And now Don going to try to win the titles with the Magnation Elbow. One, two, oh, but a kick out. And the Statue of Liberty would have been right there to break it up, so it wasn't going to work either way. But a counter into a Russian leg sweep by Fiona. Oh, but Misty right there. Oh, and Misty tried to get try, tried to uh, run interference for a tag team partner, but Fiona saw that coming. Was and she shut that shit down immediately? Man, this has been a brutal contest for the FF Tag Team Titles. Now throwing Fiona into the ropes. Oh, look at this inverted atomic drop. Now side headlock by Don, and now into a sleeper hold, trying to put Fiona to sleep. But the Statue of Liberty right there. Oh, but gets an enziguri to the back of the head. 
And the mean green machines are out of sorts right now. Oh, the Irish whip. Oh, oh, counter. And again, you're not going to outpower the mean green machines. They have the size and strength advantage. Oh, and now tit for tat again. And abdominal stretch. And that honestly could have worked right there because, again, Fiona has the size advantage. She's a freaking ogre. And now, uh-oh. Oh, Don's in trouble. Don is in serious trouble. Getting double teamed by the mean green machines. But of course, uh, the Statue of Liberty has until five to get out of the ring. Oh, and that may have just pissed Don off. And again, the title's on the line here. And Don with a gut buster, knee right to the gut. And Don just attacking any body part she can, stomping right on that elbow. And now Don go going for a third pile driver here. And a third pile driver on Fiona. Pin her. Pin her, Don. Oh, Don going to the top rope. Diving elbow. Oh, but oh, Fiona saw it coming and got out of the way. That was a smart move. Nice evasion by Fiona. Even though she's been pile driven three times. And oh, what an STO takedown. Good lord. This match has been brutal, ladies and gentlemen. And now throwing her into the ropes again. And Fiona, oh, knee right to the gut. And now Fiona. Oh, Fiona's like, you want to hit an elbow? I'll hit an elbow. And a massive elbow drop right to the sternum from the top rope. Man, this might be over for the Jigglypuffs. Oh, wait a second. And oh my god, super kick! Done with a super kick in midair! That's gotta be it! And now into the cover! Oh, but she's too close to the ropes! Of all the times for a rope break. Oh no! And an ogre's strongest slam! This has to be it! Oh, the main green machines have got it. Oh, taking care of Misty. This has to be it. One, two. No, Don kicks out again. Man, what is it going to take? What is it going to take to put this matchup away? Fiona has got to try to hit the far, far away backbreaker, or the Statue of Liberty's got to go for the Liberty Bomb. That's the only things they haven't tried yet in this matchup. Man, what a matchup it's been for the first ever FF Tag Team Champion. Oh, but, oh, counter by Don. Counter by Don. Top rope. Oh, but this time, Don gets caught with a mid-air backbreaker. My God, what a matchup this has been. This has been a show-stealing tag team matchup here. And I'm uh, all went for a clothesline, but Misty saw that coming, and Low Bridger and Fiona went flying. But, man, this has been stealing the show thus far. But Fiona is in the wrong neck of the woods right now. Oh, look at this. Don with a swinging neck breaker on the floor. How are the Jigglypuffs still in this matchup? They've taken so much abuse, and you can see Misty shaking her head. She's got to be in a lot of pain. Oh, there, there's the Statue of Liberty. Now it's turning into a free-for-all. And oh, Misty just got slammed. And oh, Don just got slammed. And oh, Misty just gets tossed right into the steel steps. And that'll take care of her knees. And now throwing Don right back in the ring. Again, Fiona needs to go for the far, far away backbreaker. That's the one move she hasn't tried yet. Because the Ogre's Strongest Slam hasn't been working. The Spear hasn't been working. The Super Kick hasn't been working. We haven't seen uh, Misty go for uh, the Bubble Beam. Man, th what a match this has been thus far. Who's going to take home the FF Tag Team titles? And, oh, backbreaker. Need this oh, this time Misty gets a hold of Princess Fiona, trying to keep her from going for the pin. Normally, I don't, I'm not too happy about this kind of uh, dirty tactics. But this is something the Mean Green Machines do all the time. Oh, but perhaps that's what Don needed. Nice dragon lace. And now going for the hot tag. Here comes Misty. Hot tag. And now, oh, big uppercut. Down goes Fiona. Now going after Statue of Liberty. Oh, but she missed her. And a hot shot. Oh, what a counter by Lady Liberty. And now Princess Fiona. Fiona wants to go for the hot tag. Hot tag. Here comes Lady Liberty. But Lady Liberty misses. Fi Man, what a, what a back and forth. And now into a Rana. Oh, hooking the leg. Will this be enough? One. Two, all oh, but countered by the Statue of Liberty. One, two, down and kick out at two. Man, near fall after near fall here. Man, I'm getting exhausted just watching this open and miss. And oh, but she did not miss that STO. My God, that was nasty. Oh, another spear will do it. Another spear and it's curtains. Oh, don't turn around. Oh, but a counter countered it into a Frankensteiner. What a counter by Misty. Perhaps a match winning counter. Throwing her into the corner. Tag made. Here comes Dawn once again. Wait, what is this? Uh, double super kick. Pin her. Pin her now. Oh, oh Dawn's not satisfied. But wants to go for a fourth super kick. Or fifth, I guess, with Misty. Oh, here we go. Super. Oh, super kick to the jaw. 
And don't close line on Fiona. That has to be a new champions into the cover. One, two, and the Jigglypuffs have done it. Woo! What a tag team match. Dude, that was the match of the Jigglypuffs careers, ladies and gentlemen. My hat's off to our new FF Tag Team Champions. They have unified the titles, and they are starting off FF as the Tag Team Champions. Take nothing away from the Mean Green Machines. They came here tonight to play, but they just were not on the same level of the Jigglypuffs here tonight at XTW FF Fusion. Man, we have one hell of a tag team here to be our first ever FF Tag Team Champions. Dude, and that's just the first title unification match tonight. I am excited for the rest of the night. That might have just stolen the show. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, we have the XTW Lightning Wick Championship on the line. Woody, who has now been, uh, I guess, rebranded from the UCT Lightning Wick Champion to the XTW Lightning Wick Champion. Regardless, Woody, the uh, Lightning Wick Champion, is defending the title against Silver the Hedgehog who became the number one contender by defeating Usain Bolt on a previous episode of UCT. And I'll never forget, he tried to get the drop on Woody on that same episode with a chair, but Woody took the chair. And the second that Woody took the chair away from Silver, Silver bolted out of there as fast as possible. I have never seen Silver move that fast. And if you've ever played Sonic 06, you know that Silver is not exactly the fastest hedgehog. So, seeing him move that quickly was honestly kind of hilarious. However, Silver did get a lot of momentum on the final episode of UCT when he won the six-man tag team matchup for his team, and in a way, he defeated Woody on that show. He pinned King with It's No Use, and if he hits that on Woody tonight, we might have a new Lightning Weight Champion. But again, Woody has been the UCT Lightning Weight Champion for a good while now. Uh, can he continue that momentum now as the XTW Lightning Weight Champion? And of course, we still have uh, the global title will be uh, given will be uh, earned in a triple threat matchup immediately following this matchup. The XTW Tag Team Champions will be crowned later tonight. The first ever FF World Champion will be crowned between Samara Morgan and Bulma. And our main event, the XTW World Heavyweight Title, will be decided between Jack Six and Jacob Cass. This is a loaded, stacked card, ladies and gentlemen. If, if those matches are anything like the FF uh, Tag Team Title match we just saw. We're in for one hell of a night, because still, that I'm exhausted after that tag. I'm, I'm sad that Sean missed that match. He missed a banger of a tag team match. But again, that's that, I blame the Joker for that, so thanks, Joker. You're not even on XTW. So I, that was literally just him smacking Sean in the face with his dick, and I do not appreciate it. But enough about that clown. Here we go with our XTW Lightning Weight Championship matchup. And remember, earlier tonight, Kermit won that Battle Royal, so he can either challenge the winner of this match or the winner of our next match, the Triple Threat match, to determine the first ever XTW Global Champion. So, who is Kermit going to ch uh, who is uh, Kermit going to challenge? The winner of this match or the winner of the next match? We will have to see. Uh, but ultimately, that's up to Kermit. But this is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. The XTW Lightning Weight Championship is on the line. Brand new championship. And that's what it's all about. Our referee, Alfred, holding the bell above his head. And it's Woody defending against Silver. And these two, oh, starting with a collar and elbow type. Now, Sean's probably really mad that he that he missed this. Wrestling match is starting with collar and elbow types because that's his gimmick. You left before the gimmick could be fulfilled. But Woody going right after the leg. That's smart. Already, as soon as the match starts, he's already setting up for his finishing move, the Woody's Roundup. Oh, oh, and he's already going for it. He's already going for the Woody's Roundup. This is the move he used to win the title by making the Green Lantern submit. He, he made the Green Lantern submit twice with this very hold, and Silver is already in trouble. Silver's trying to get to the bottom rope, though, to force a break. Oh, can he get there, though? He's almost there. Oh, 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 but uh, Silver was able to escape the hold, even though he was right next to the ropes. It looks like that frustrated Woody a little bit. Oh, oh, and an elbow right to the face. And oh, what a spinning wheel kick on Woody. And down goes the champion. And now Silver with... Oh, with a... Sh uh, man, nice uh, chop block right there to the leg. And it looks like both of them are going to be targeting each other's legs in this match. And a kneecap buster. Or a shin breaker, I guess. And now for... Oh, and now Silver with the ankle lock. We've seen Silver use this before. He used this against Mario a couple years ago at Elevation. But Woody uh, trying to get to the ropes. But Silver 
He was able to get his foot out of that hole, but now relocking in the ankle lock, but Woody right there for the rope break. Uh, again, interesting to see Silver use that. Um, but, oh, they're turning into a submission match, even though we've already had one of those tonight. Kick-starting the uh, submission tournament to crown the first ever XTW Submission Championship, and Zack Sabre Jr. and Anderson Silva had a had one hell of a submission match earlier tonight. But again, this is all about the lightning weight title, and Woody is just lighting up Silver the Hedgehog with these chops. The Silver firing back with a big kick right to the face, and that's a big face to kick. And a springboard kick taking down the champion. And a standing shooting star press as Silver is gaining control here. And Silver with an oh, nice jumping neck breaker taking down the champion. And Silver with another springboard leg drop. That was nice. Now Silver into the cover hook in the leg. One, two, but only gets a two off the first pinfall attempt of this matchup. Oh, but a counter Woody thrown to the outside. Oh, drop kick. Almost scalped him with that drop kick, knocking him to the outside. And now Woody with an axe handle to the floor. Now Woody needs to be careful. Oh, actually, Silver needs to be more careful because Woody has championship uh, he has championships advantage. If there's a count out or disqualification, the title will not change hands. Oh, what a big forearm and a nip up, and Woody is on a roll right now. So if Silver wants to become the Lightning Weight Champion, he has to uh, win this match via pinfall or submission. And that's it's easier said than done against Woody. And now Woody just wearing out his knuckles on the face of Silver the Hedgehog. As the re and that was a smart move by Woody, by the way, uh, getting it back in the ring to break the count because he doesn't want this match to end via count out. And uh, especially neither does Silver for the reasons I just described. Oh, gets thrown right into the ring post. Maybe that'll come back to haunt Woody. And now Silver, what is Silver's perched on the top rope. And oh, nice crossbody lateral press. One, two, but only a one count. And now the champion back to his feet, but Silver will not be denied. Irish whip right into a big flapjack and the number one contender is in control for the time being and now perhaps setting up for another leg drop and oh Woody tried to nip up but he accidentally nipped up right into that leg drop and a flatliner this is not looking good for the champion uh oh a silver perhaps gonna try to finish him off here well he usually likes to go for this Phoenix Rana Phoenix Rana on the champion will this be enough one Two, no, oh, but Woody's able to get out of it. Man, that was close. Although, oh, Woody responded with a big form and a nip up. And now Woody is building momentum. And off that atomic drop, scoop slam. And now Woody is in control. And nice back and forth here. Now Woody off the top rope, off that slam. And a moonsault. Beautiful moonsault by the champion into the cover. One, two, oh, but Silver kicks out. Near fall after near fall in this lightning weight championship matchup. And a big spinning suplex by Woody. And now Woody oh, going for Woody's roundup one more time. Oh, th this might be enough. This might be enough to get the submission here. Right after the previously worked on legs here. And oh, Silver is in a lot of pain here. And he's far away from the ropes. Oh, but Silver, Silver actually able to escape the hold once again. But is the damage already done to his, it looks like his left leg. Oh, look at this. Use, oh, using the right leg smartly for the inverted atomic drop on the champion. And Silver's been wrestling a smart match here tonight. Both competitors have. Going to the outside. And oh, spin kick right to the jaw, knocking him off the apron. And now Silver. What is Silver doing? Oh, look at this. Lion Salt off the apron, just crushing the champion. Man, maximum damage right there. And Silver wisely throwing him right back into the ring because, again... A count out will not help Silver in his bid to become champion here tonight. And now Silver, top rope. Oh, runs right to a big right hand. And another right hand. Oh, Woody perhaps looking for a superplex. Superplex on Silver. Silver's in trouble. Superplex on Silver the Hedgehog. Right in the center of the ring into the cover. One, two. Oh, but Silver kicks out again. And, oh, nice spinning in Seguri by Woody right there. That was a nice move. And now Woody... Oh, oh, but a counter, a counter by Silver, throwing him into the ropes. Right, what does Silver have on his mind here? And sizz, uh, Silver with a head scissors take. Oh, s head scissors takedown. That was a, a bad. Oh, setting up for it's no use. Here we go. It's no use. Woody's in a world of trouble right here. Oh, oh, counter, counter, and oh, right back to the injured leg. Smart move by Woody. And now Woody. Oh, look at this. Setting up. Oh, snake in his boot. Snake in his boot right in between the eyes. Knocking him out. Cover one, two, and three. Woody retains 
the XTW Lightning Weight Championship in an impressive outing. This is why Woody's a champion, ladies and gentlemen. Silver was game here tonight, but he just did not have what it took to dethrone Woody in this matchup. That was a very smart move for Woody to go right back to the injured left knee with that kick that, that set uh, Silver wide open for that uh, snake in his boot. And honestly, Woody a little sly here tonight with that because he'd been going for that submission hold the Woody's round up the entire match. I don't think Silver was expecting the snake in his boot. Uh, he, <laughs> I mean, obviously, he got knocked out with it. But either way, Woody is still your champion. And up next, this is going to be interesting. Triple threat matchup to determine the first ever XTW Global Champion. We have the former XAW US Champion, Johnny Bravo. The former UCT Extreme Champion, Sinful Neglect. And the former XAW Hardcore Champion, Roger Blake. All here tonight in this triple threat matchup to determine the first ever Global Champion for XTW. Uh, this is going to be interesting. And of course, since this is a triple threat matchup, God, I, I, I prefer the masterpiece Johnny Bravo in... Uh, that right there. That I did not need to see. That I did not need to see, Johnny Bravo. Why? Also, what Sean was talking about uh, previously about how Johnny Bravo was trying to sell uh, the XAW US title for stock. Well, since the title is has been uh, unified and to make the global title and the physical belt is uh, is John, it's basically Johnny Bravo's property now since it's no it's a defunct title now. I actually uh, found out the other day that, that since he could not get it sold for stock, he turned around and sold it on Facebook Marketplace. Really? Are you are you serious, Johnny Bravo? He literally turned around. Who even uses Facebook Marketplace anymore? So, long story short, ladies and gentlemen, of all the people that I hope don't win this matchup, you're looking at the main one. I would prefer the Sinful Neglect at this point. Because we already had him do God knows what with the U.S. title, only to sell it. Johnny Bravo is the pimp, is the belt pimp. <laughs> why is that? Why is this a gimmick? Why is he the belt pimp? I, I don't like this at all. Here comes the Sinful Neglect. <laughs> Oh my god. I, I can't believe I'm endorsing the Sinful Neglect over Johnny Bravo. What, what have we come to as a society? But anyway, me, my despondency out of the way. Uh, the, again, this is uh, the unification of three championships into one. Uh, the global title, of course, will be uh, XTW's secondary championship. Pretty much equal to TAW's internet championship. Or if you really want to go there, the WWE's intercontinental title or US title. What have you. Uh, or if you want to go to AEW's Fantasyland, basically our TNT title. Um, but anyway, so you, you get the picture, you get the picture. But here comes our final competitor in this matchup, the former XAW Hardcore Champion, Roger Blake, who last time we saw him, he successfully retained that title in a championship scramble match. He got the first pinfall like four minutes in and was able to keep that going throughout the entire match. So that was very impressive. The brains of Roger Blake are... are uh, Highly, um, uh, 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 what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, underappreciated. Yeah, underappreciated. Underappreciated. I had a brain fart. Excuse me. He has more brains than I do. I feel like his, he, he's more tactical than I am. Because if I'm in a high stress situation, my brain just locks up and I forget how words work. And you have many examples of that. And Sean will taunt me relentlessly for it. And honestly, I deserve it. But I'm a man, so I can take it. But anyway. Hurt my feelings. I'm crying. <laughs> anyway, and now The Rock is going to make fun of my mom. Uh, uh, you can make fun of the, the goofy-ass dog. Though. Where am I going with this? The global title's on the line <laughs> here in this triple threat matchup. Again, there are uh, no countouts and no disqualifications. You can only win this match in the ring via pinfall or submission, and it is first fall to a finish. So there's no eliminations. And this is going to be interesting. And a big bulldog by Roger Blake after Johnny Bravo hit a suplex. And another bulldog, this time for Sinful Neglect. Uh, I'd be careful about attacking everyone, Roger, or else yeah, you're going to leave yourself wide open to get double teamed. Or, or maybe, maybe Johnny Bravo is going to leave himself wide open to be double teamed. Oh, here we go. Neck breaker, elbow twist. Take a shot of whatever you happen to be eating or drinking. I, I hate that move. Literally everyone does it. And I'm, con I'm, I'm convinced it is a rib on me. From both locker rooms. So, oh, what a clothesline, though. Uh, Owen right into a tilt-a-whirl slam. Man, 
the intensity is picking up in this matchup quickly. Uh oh, here what I was afraid of. Double team on Roger Blake. Oh, oh counter. Double DDT by Roger Blake. Nice counter. And now, uh, oh, big clothesline by Roger Blake. And now, first pinfall attempt of the match. What, not even a one. Unfortunately, the Sinful Neglect is a lot tougher than that. Going to the outside. And oh, oh, low bridge. And Roger Blake just went flying. Oh, but oh, shoulders to the gut. And now, the Sinful Neglect goes flying. Almost landed right on top of Roger Blake. As this triple threat matchup continues for the global title. And again, the winner of this match might have to defend the title against Kermit the Frog if Kermit the Frog decides to challenge the winner of this match. Can you believe we might end up with Johnny Bravo versus Kermit the Frog? That just feels cursed. But a DDT, double DDT by the, uh, uh, on the Sinful Neglect by uh, Johnny Bravo and Roger Blake. And now getting back in the ring. Man, Sinful Neglect got spiked right on the top of his head. But oh, another vicious clothesline by Roger Blake. And now another cover, one, but only a one count. And one thing about Johnny Bravo, one of his most recent matches, oh, now the double team again, this time on Roger Blake, big right hand. Well, oh, actually, that was a big left hand. Again, the unparalleled striking game of the Sinful Neglect, but Johnny Bravo, his, most, his last uh, defense as the U.S. champion was in a triple threat match at the 10-year anniversary show, and he used his brain to win that matchup, took advantage of Aaron Kordeski just demolishing Samurai Trent with a chair. So honestly, the triple threat um, benefits and uh, gives Johnny Bravo the advantage, but a big spine buster by, Johnny, uh, by uh, Roger Blake on the Symphony Elect. And, oh, big right hand by Johnny Bravo. Man, that was a knuckle sandwich right there, but again, Johnny Bravo, the triple threat working out in his favor. Oh, this big Oklahoma slam here. And just planting him, man. The power behind that slam is ridiculous. And the Sinful Neglect... Is the Sinful Neglect just going to... Wow, the disrespect. Cover he knew Johnny Bravo was going to break that up. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to pin him anyway just to be a dick. Just to steal all of your hard work right under your nose. Literally. And now side headlock. And another double team on Roger Blake. And oh, right to the jaw. And an elbow to the spine. And they're just taking their time. Just It looks like they're now deciding, hey, let's pick apart Roger Blake. Oh, but never mind. Johnny Bravo just launching Sinful Neglect to the outside. That was a hard landing. And now, oh, get a nice knee counter. And, oh, knee right to the face. A knee trembler right to the skull. And now Johnny Bravo. What is Bravo going to do here? Oh, gets countered. And oh, this time Roger Blake throwing him to the outside. Oh, oh counter. Now a nice uh, snapmare takedown. And now, wait, what is, Ro what is Roger doing here? Roger Blake. Oh, oh Blake Buster. Bla oh, Blake Buster DDT on the outside. Johnny Bravo is out. Too bad this is not Falls Count anywhere because, honestly, Roger could have won it right there. Oh, try tr oh, tried to get back in the ring. And a smart move, a conniving move by the Symphony Neglect, tripping him up. And that was a, man, he landed right on his hip on the outside, right, right on the apron. And I don't... I'm not sure what Johnny Bravo is going for here, but oh, gets clothesline. Doesn't matter, man. Th man, this has been a hard-hitting, strategic triple threat match. Oh, and now oh, power slam on the floor. Man, Johnny Bravo has taken several just big moves on the outside. Again, not a lot of padding. Man, man, it's been a rough night for Johnny Bravo thus far. And now back into the ring, and oh, big right hand, and oh, oh, oh but a block. Oh, don't get to a striking match. With TSN, or this is going to happen, setting up for a tombstone. Oh, tombstone pile driver on Roger Blake. But Johnny, is Johnny Bravo going to return the favor here? Wow, just a cheeky pin, knowing full well that Symphony Light is right there. Man, the attitude of these guys in this matchup is just ridiculous. But again, this is all for the global championship and a Russian leg sweep by TSN. Oh, shot right to the kidneys. Oh, man, Roger Blake has been throwing some massive clotheslines, but a big, oh, diving elbow. And now into the cover, but Johnny Bravo right there to break it up. And you're, again, to win this matchup, you're going to have to incapacitate both of your... And now Johnny Bravo trying to get a quick pin, but again, you're going to have to incapacitate both of your opponents. Oh, Johnny Bravo. Bravo ball, a devastating Bravo bomb on this. Oh, look at this. The, exactly what Roger Blake is trying to do here. Cover off the Bravo Bomb. Will this be enough? One, two, and no, all, but the Symphony Light kicks out of the Bravo Bomb. Took a little bit too much time to actually go for the pin right there. Man, that was a lucky break for TSM, but gets thrown right into the corner. 
Now look at this. Oh, oh, counter. Counter by TSN right into his own backbreaker. Knee right. He need him right in the pelvis. And man, these three combatants continuing to brawl. And now wait, what is Roger Blake going to do here? Roger Blake just throwing Johnny Bravo all the way across the ring. And now doing the same exact thing with the... Oh, and Roger Blake going to take them both out. Oh, big body splash in the corner on both men. And Roger Blake on a roll here. Oh, look at this. Roger Blake just launching the Sinful Neglect to the outside. Oh, no. If he, if he hits Johnny Bravo with another Blake Buster DDT, it's over. Game over. He's already he's already got one. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's setting up. Oh, oh, but Johnny Bravo able to counter out of it. Nice counter. And right into a swinging neck breaker. Johnny Bravo knows that he cannot withstand another one of those things. Now, Irish whip. Oh, right into a big shoulder block. Now Johnny Bravo off that shoulder. Oh, setting up for another Bravo bomb. He's got him up. Oh, but gold counter into a face buster. Nice counter by Roger Blake. And whoa, is that Carlito? Carlito with a chair just wiping out the sinful neglect. On Roger. Is that Scott Steiner? What? And the global championship right to the skull of Roger Blake. Is that Scott Steiner? He hit him with the Blake buster. And now Scott Steiner with all oh, with a big power bomb. What, what, are the Johnny Wood Blondes reuniting? Is, and Carlito assaulting the Symphony Neglect and a DDT on the chair on the ramp. Why are Carlito and Scott Steiner helping Johnny? It's all oh, the global championship to the skull. Not this way. No, don't you dare. One, two, three. Wow. 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 Oh my God. Wow. Carlito and Scott Steiner. We've heard rumors about the reuniting of the Johnny Wood Blondes, but apparently it has come to fruition here tonight at Fusion. Johnny Bravo, unfortunately, is your global champion, and Scott Steiner and Carlito basically won him the match. Why is Carlito out here? We saw him in the Battle Royal earlier tonight, and we saw him in the last XAW assaulting his former tag team partner, Shelton Benjamin, but... What does this mean? Is this a new faction? But Johnny Bravo is your XTW Global Champion, and I I can't believe my eyes. I can't I can't believe Scott Steiner, Big Papa Pump, just cost Roger Blake the title. Wow, but up next, ladies and gentlemen, we have another unification match. The XTW Tag Team Titles on the line. The uh, UCT, well, at, before this uh, show, the, at the time, UCT Tag Team Champions. The Supremacy, Majin Buu, and Bojack going up against the, at the time, XAW Tag Team Champions, Sumabish and Ryan the Lion, the Dream Team. I am very much looking forward to this tag team matchup here, but I still can't get over that. I mean, I understand Scott Steiner uh, coming out here and assisting Johnny Bravo, but why Carlito? I mean, Johnny Bravo and Scott Steiner have a history. Maybe Carlito wants a piece of that action. I mean, he took that loss on the final XAW in that ladder match to the Dream Team pretty hard. Uh, as evidenced by him beating the shit out of Shelton Benjamin backstage, putting him through a soda machine, but that's, that's neither here nor there, I guess, but we're moving on to this tag team title match, and this is, honestly, tonight could be a big night for the Supremacy. This could be, this should prove them right once again. If, if they play their cards right, they could go from pretty much dominating UCT to dominating XTW right out the gate because XTW was brand new. So, I, and truthfully, I would prefer it if a brand new show does not start out with a faction already in control of it. So, uh, even though I'm supposed to be unbiased, my money is on the Dream Team. They have been impressive. They've been racking up wins. They defeated the, the Cool Standard twice. And they've just been running through the XAW tag team roster. But can they defeat the veterans? Uh, the former Magnation Tag Team Champions, Majin Buu and Bojack. And you know that Buu is especially feeling the pressure in this matchup. Because he's the quote-unquote leader of the Supremacy, and he wants to show up and show out. I mean, he he was the one who got the winning pinfall against the Androids on the last UCT, and he assaulted Jacob Cass, the World Heavyweight Champion. So, I, again, I wonder what's going through Buu's mind. But we're starting off with Buu and Sumabish, another collar and elbow tie-up. To start this tag team matchup, Sean is squeeing somewhere. I can hear it from here. But an arm drag takedown, and again, I feel like the veterans have the advantage going into this matchup. Well, but that doesn't mean Sumabish and Ryan the Lion are going to go down without a fight. 
Oh, oh, nice missed clothesline right there. Nice evasion by Sumabish. Sumabish might have the, the uh, quickness advantage, but oh, look at that big jumping uppercut. And he has some very unorthodox offense, but some nice evasion by both men. This time gets the spinning heel kick. And now uh, the legendary Majin Buu back to his feet. Oh, this time gets the clothesline, knocking down Sumabish. Oh, but a drop kick, not man, it's going tit for tat here. I want to see a singles match between these two. These two just going at it. Got a tag mate. Oh, here comes Ryan the Lion, the muscle of the dream team. Oh, what is this? Off the tag. Oh, double team. Sidewalk slam, reverse DDT. Oh, clothesline right to the back of Boo's head. In UFC, that would be that would be a disqualification. Oh, no. And Boo already in the wrong side of town here. This is not good news for Majin Buu. And now gets thrown right back in the ring. And, and like the previous uh, tag team matchup, if there's a, a disqualification or a count out, that will affect who the titles go to. And oh, big knee drop. And the Dream Team starting out with the momentum. And oh, what a clothesline by Ryan the Lion. You now into the cover on Buu. One, but only a one count. It took Alfred a second to get to position right there. And, oh, shot right to the Patel, a smart move. And oh, nice neck breaker by Majin Buu. Oh, but Sumabish taking a play out of the Supremacy playbook right there. Knee to the face. It's, it's, it's dirty, I, I will admit. But that's something the Supremacy has made. The, ma oh, and there, down goes Bojack. The Supremacy has made all these underhanded tactics their calling card for years, ladies and gentlemen. So I can't exactly blame the Dream Team for, for uh, taking plays out of their own playbook. But tag me. Here comes the muscle of the Supremacy. Bojack, this is another match I would love to see. Ryan the Lion and Bojack. Now Bojack with a swinging neck breaker on Ryan the Lion. Again, the UCT Tag Team Champions and the XAW Tag Team Champions unifying the titles here tonight. Who will become the first ever XTW Tag Team Champions? We already have our first ever FF Tag Team Champions in the Jigglypuffs. We have the first ever global champion, unfortunately. It is Johnny Bravo. And, of course, Woody is the XCW Lightning Witch Champion. And, oh, man, look at this combination of offense by Ryan the Lion. First the Face Buster, and then oh, gets caught with a black hole slam. Nice counter by uh, by Bojack. And now a mount and some big punches right to the skull. And this has been intense thus far. It has been intense all night. And, oh, what a DDT by Ryan the Lion. And Ryan the Lion is feeling it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but a counter by Bojack, knee to the gut. And big STO takedown by Buck. We've seen some, we've seen several vicious STOs here tonight with some big punches by Bojack. We saw several vicious ones last night on the pre-show by uh, Cole Williams, even though things did not work out well for the brigade last night, and that makes me happy. But, oh, and here comes Ryan the line with some big punches knocking down Bojack. Oh, counter Irish whip throwing him into the ropes. Oh, but Ryan with another knee face buster. And off that knee face buster, what is Ryan doing here? Irish whip. And into a big, oh, big spine buster by Ryan the Lion. Now into the, oh, but too close to the ropes. Bojack's a big man. You got to get him away from the ropes, but a counter into a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Man, big, beefy boys just battling it out here in this tag team title match. But Ryan the Lion trying to get it back in on it. Now throwing him right into the waiting arms of Sumabish. And, man, Bojack's in trouble. Bojack has been taking a lot of abuse here. Throwing him back into the corner. Tag made. Oh, what is this? Sumabish in the ring. And, oh, right into a super kick. Borrowing the lion sleeps. Super kick. Oh, going right into the king of the jungle. And king of the jungle connects. What a double team. Oh, that might be enough for the titles. Into the cover hook in the leg. One, two, doll, but Boo right there to break it up. Boo was like, not a chance in hell, young man. Oh look, oh, look at this. Boo tagging himself in. Oh, Bojack did not like that, man. The chinks in the armor of the Supremacy continue to grow, and they are just all out of sorts right now. Now Sumabish top rope. Oh, big axe handle, and Sumabish very smart, taking advantage of the dissension amongst the ranks right there. Oh, this is bad news for Boo. This is bad news. Double neck breaker on the floor. Perhaps that, that tag in. And look at this. They're just beating the crap out of Boo with knee drops. And now, oh, and a neck breaker. Man, the Supremacy is in shambles right now. Man, that oh, went for a forearm, but he missed it. Oh, smart move by Boo, just yanking him off the apron. And Sumabish's hip bounced off the apron, but man, I was oh, I was beginning to think maybe that blind tag wasn't very smart. But oh, nice elbow drop off the hip toss counter. But Boo trying, he's like, if you can't, 
Oh, wait, wait, look at this. Oh, got him up for an air raid. Oh, air raid crash. And now into the cover. Will that win the tag team titles? One, two. Oh, and a kick out at two. But I was going to say, if, man, oh, 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 float over DDT by Sumabish. If you if, if you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. I guess that's what Boo is thinking. But that may have uh, rubbed Bojack the wrong way. And you can't rub your tag team partner the wrong way unless you're in the dressing room. But anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Uh, and please ignore what I just said. I am I, I am sorry. But a tag mate. Oh, uh, no, here. Oh, the originators of the Mag Nation elbow. It only seems right, ladies and gentlemen. And oh, there goes Suma Bish. Oh, Bojack is pissed. Even though he did the double team, uh, Bojack is furious right now. But oh, runs. Oh, and a DDT. Oh, and that busted him open. Oh, Bojack is bleeding profusely off that DDT. Top rope. And oh, Bojack with a spear in midair. Spear in midair. That's it. New champions. One, two, for no, Ryan somehow kicks out. How did he kick out of that mid-air spear? Oh, but a counter by Ryan. Oh, big clothesline on uh, Bojack. Oh, and now off that clothesline. Oh, setting up. Figure four leg lock. The figure four is locked in, and Bojack is in trouble. Oh, oh but oh, Bojack able to escape, though. Oh, but that did some damage to his knee. And I, oh, that's the knee he uses for the unbound. Oh, and again going after the other knee to take him down. Oh, and now slamming his face into the mat, going right after that open wound on his forehead. Very smart move by Ryan the Lion. Oh, but now Bojack trying to fire back here. Oh, going for another swinging neck breaker. And he connects. And Ryan the Lion in trouble. Oh, look at this. Going for the hot tag. Tag made. Here comes Sumabish. Oh, Sumabish. Oh, big uppercut. Down goes Bojack. And down goes Majin Buu with a forearm. Oh man, Sumabish is rolling. He's rolling here. Big punches, big punches, and a discus lariat by Sumabish. And the Dream Team are once again in control. And Sumabish top rope. Oh, went for the headbutt, but he missed it. He missed it. Oh, but he missed the axe handle. Bojack missed the axe handle. Sumabish setting up. Suma switch. Suma switch right on the right on that open wound. We've got new champions into the cover hook in the leg. One, two. Oh, but Boo again breaks it up. Man, that was it. That was it. But, oh, throwing him off the top rope. Now into the cover. But Ryan the Lion right there to break that. Man, that Suma switch would have done it. Oh, but, oh, Bojack. Oh, off that counter, off that counter. Oh, here we go. Can he connect with the unbound? He's got him up. And the unbound connects. We're going to have a new champion. Oh, can Bojack go for the cover off the unbound? Hooking the leg. One, two, three. Three, the Supremacy has done it once again. Man, that was one, another hellacious tag team matchup. And we have our first ever XTW Tag Team Champions. And they are, of course, a bloody Bojack and Majin Buu. Even though they had some issues during this matchup, they were able to pull it together and come away with the win at the last second. If Buu had not broken up, that Suma switch, the Dream Team had it in the bag right there, but Boo with the winning breakup, and Bojack with the unbound, and we have our first ever XCW Tag Team Champions. We are not even close to done. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. No more gods, no more graves. Are you friend or fiend? No more life, no more death. Somewhere in between.
And it is now time for the first of our two main events here tonight for the FF World Championship, Samara Morgan versus Bulma. I am so excited for this. I'm so excited, I just can't hide it, and now copyright. Thanks, YouTube. Uh, yeah, Samara Morgan versus Bulma to determine the first ever FF World Champion. I'm so excited for this and our following match, the main event for the XTW World title. This is going to be a lot of fun. We have uh, who was at the time the TAW Femfetal Champion, Samara Morgan, going up against who was at the time the UCT Femfetal Champion, Bulma, going head-to-head -head in a title unification match. Who will spearhead FF as the World Champion? We will just have to see. It's either going to be Samara Morgan or Bulma. Originally, it was supposed to be uh, Samara Morgan versus Ray, but Bulma surprised a lot of people by winning the UCT Femfetal Championship from Ray in that Fatal 4-Way match uh, a couple months ago. So, Bulma earning her way into this matchup, and of course she defeated Ray one-on-one in a rematch. And then Ray tried to get one last uh, desperate chance to get into this pay-per-view by going up against Samara for her championship, but she was also unsuccessful. Uh, but again, I am very much looking forward to this clash between these two champions. But only one of them is going to walk out of Fusion as the champion. Will it be this woman, the terrifying and seemingly unstoppable Samara Morgan, who in her entire career, I think she's only been pinned one time in her illustrious TAW career thus far. She's a former FF, uh, she's a former Femfetal Tag Team Champion on the main roster. And of course she was the current uh, TAW Femfetal Champion. Just been on an absolute tsunami of momentum. Not even a tidal wave, a tsunami of momentum. Ever, especially ever since Armageddon, where she defeated She-Hulk to become champion, and we still have not seen She-Hulk since. She broke She-Hulk's long, and I mean long, championship reign. And now tonight, can she become the first ever FF World Champion? And honestly, my money is on Samora Morgan. She's been absolutely unstoppable, but you cannot count out Bulma. I mean, she's married to she's married to and has had two children with Vegeta, for God's sakes. Bulma has withstood a lot, uh, especially um, the the issues with her family over the over the past year, especially concerning Liu Kang and Bruce Lee. And I still hate that Liu Kang, that piece of absolute garbage, is the world heavyweight champion of the main roster. So that's just a sad face. But enough about that, Bulma. Showcasing some a lot of resiliency over the past year and becoming champion. Can she pull off the upset here? Our two main events are basically David versus Goliath. This is David versus Goliath in female and also spooky form, I guess. Can Bulma do the impossible and defeat Samara Morgan here tonight? Uh, it, it, it remains to be seen, but this is going to be an epic contest either way. And there it is, the, the beautiful brand new FF World title. Who is walking out of the show with that championship belt? Will it be Bulma or will it be Samara Morgan? It's going to be a hell of a contest in order to find out. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. What is Bulma going to have to do to do what very few have done? And that is even stall the momentum of Samara. And it's already looking bad. Samara starting out the gate with a nice combination strike. And already going for a big... Oh, counter by Bulma. Counter by Bulma into a backbreaker. There we go, Bulma. Perhaps some reversals are what Bulma needs. Uh, oh, look at the springboard. Springboard over Castle. Or I guess a springboard over Capsule. I, aha, see what I did there? And an oh, springboard splash by Bulma, wasting no time. Into the cover. One, only a one count. Bulma's going to have to be quick and decisive in this matchup. And a big belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And a big moonsault on top of that. Just move, move after move after move, not giving Samara any chance to breathe. And again, that's very smart. And a side headlock takedown and a knee right, right between the eyes. And another one. Bulma needs to stay on the offensive. She cannot give Samara any ch uh Oh, no. And all Samara's like, you're not going to give me any chance to breathe. Well, I'll create a chance to breathe for myself. Thank you very much. And oh, oh, big back body drop. How is Samara able to get that big of a back body drop with barely any uh, leverage or momentum? And right into a big swinging neck breaker, no doubt already planning and setting up for her finishing maneuver, the Tombstone Pile Driver, a move that she's beaten pretty much everyone with. Oh, but Bulma firing back with a spinning kick to the face. Again, Bulma's going to have to be decisive here, and another big kick to the face, knocking her into the turnbuckle. And again, the championship can be decided via disqualification and countout in this matchup, so they both need to be very careful. 
This is a standard match, so there are pinfalls, submissions, countouts, and disqualifications. And Samara with a second neck breaker again, setting up. Oh, is she gonna already going for the choke slam? Is she already gonna go for the choke slam? Oh, oh Bulma with a smart move. A lot of people might say that that was cowardly, but honestly, if I saw Samara setting up for the choke slam, I would get out of dodge as well. That was a very smart move by Bulma. And now both back into the ring, and Bulma trying to re-strategize. What's she going to have to do here to come out on top and win the uh, FF World Championship? Again, no one thought she was even going to be here. We all thought it was going to be Ray, But she proved us all wrong. Then can she prove us wrong again? And oh, another big kick to the face of Samara Morgan. And, and I, I, it takes a lot of guts and courage to even go toe-to-toe -to -toe or step into the ring with Samara. But I give a, Bulma a lot of credit. She's not backing down. The counter. And now Samara oh, going for it. Oh, but again gets countered into another backbreaker by Bulma. And uh, hey, taking out the back might take away the choke slam and the tombstone. So on Bulma with a big German suplex. Nice German suplex. And the Samara pops right back up like a pimple on prom night. But Bulma responds with another German suplex. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, I guess. But again, Samara firing back. Not letting Bulma build any momentum. <sighs> really? Samara? Even Samara taunts me with that stupid neckbreaker elbow smash. Take a shot of whatever you happen to be eating or drinking. And again, she wants that choke slam. But Bulma not, gonna, not having any of it. Not going to let her connect with it. And that's exactly what Bulma needs to do. But, oh, oh, runs right to a forearm. Oh, but counters into another German. What a counter by Bulma. Even though she got a forearm right to the face. When, I think she was going for some kind of stinger splash in the corner. And now just slowing the pace down. Trying to out-wrestle and out-maneuver Samara Morgan. And now going after the left arm. And just going after any exposed body part, I guess. Whatever works. And another huge kick to the face. Bulma's hit that move right there several times. And it's effective. Again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I thought we're going to the corner, perhaps going to go for that stinger splash again. But this time, she connects with it. And there was a lot of velocity on that one. That was an intense move. And Bulma going for another Irish whip. Just launching Samora into the corner. Oh, but a, oh, counter and a shot right to the back. Nice counter by Samora. She needed that. Oh, now Samora, oh, what is this? And a big, oh, big fall away slam. The strength of Samora just launching Bulma across the ring. And Samara saying that that might be it, but oh, to, perhaps taunted a little too long and got a drop kick right to the head. Bulma's gonna have to. Oh, look at this all small package, small package could do it here. One, two. Oh, counter by Samara. One, two. Oh, but Bulma kicks out. Man, this has been a stalemate thus far. Again, I'm very impressed with Bulma staying in here with Samara, but reeling her back in with a big Samoan drop. And now off the Samoan drop, what is Bulma gonna do? I would have went for the cover off of that. Oh, but, oh, the exact, that right there, my point exactly. What a counter by Samara. Oh, and perhaps setting up for old school off of that counter. <laughs> you better move out of the way, Alfred. And now Samara scaling the ropes. and Oh, clubbing shot right to the neck again. And now Samara, she's going to go for the cover. Samara dragging away from the ropes. And now shooting the half into the cover. One, two, but only a two off of old school. And the Bulma's back up. Oh, no. oh, Bulma, oh, she's got her by the throat, and a massive choke slam. That might be an end of the cover. One, two, oh, but Bulma just barely kicks out. And Bulma, oh, what a response with the Masenko. Masenko by Bulma, will that be it? Oh, wait, not going for the cover. Oh, she dazed her. Oh, is she going to go for the Capsule Corp stunner? Oh, she's got her, and she connects. Can Bulma do this? Can Bulma pull off the upset of the century? One, two. Ah, but Samora kicks out of the Capsule Corp Stunner. But Bulma missed the Insiguri. She missed the Insiguri. Oh, no. Oh, no. And Samora takes advantage of that miss with a Tombstone. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, Bulma might be done. Tombstone pile driver. But Samora usually goes right for the cover, but trying to drag her away from the ropes. Does not want to break. One, two. Ah, but Bulma kicks out of the Tombstone. Perhaps that, that brief moment... Where Bulma, oh, 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 Bulma, though, Bulma, look at this, and just suplexing Samara to the outside. Oh, Bulma, what the hell are you doing? And a 450 to the outside, good lord. What a high-risk move right there, but perhaps Samara, she would, she didn't want to go for the tombstone and go for the cross-arm cover because she felt like Bulma was too close to the ropes, but that right there, that concern might have cost her this matchup. But a Northern Lights inside the ring, and Bulma... With another 450 splash into a cover. One. How? How is that only a one? 
And, and Bulma can't believe it. Well, but again, so, uh, cutting Samara off at the pass. Uh, Samara tried to go for a strike, but Bulma countered it. That was a nice counter by Samara. And now Samara perhaps going to go for another pin attempt. And now into the cover. One, two, and at the two, Bulma kicks out. But man, Bulma's in shock that that 450, that second 450 only got a two count. And Samara survived the Capsule Corp Stunner, and Bulma somehow survived the Tombstone. But again, this is all for the FF World Title, ladies and gentlemen. That was a nice integrated by Bulma, but got kicked right in the nose. It looked like Samara kicked her right in the nose. And Samara taunting! You don't see that very often. Got a shot to the gut, and I want another one. Wait, what is Bulma doing here? Double underhook. Oh, but a counter by Samara into a back body drop. Nice counter. Oh, but Bulma firing back with her own counter. And now Bulma, what is she doing here? And oh, reels her back into a heel kick. And these two, uh, fatigue has got to be setting in here, at least for Bulma. I don't know if Samara can get tired, but Bulma definitely is human, so fatigue has got to be setting in for Bulma, at least. Again, Samara, I don't know. But what is Bulma going to have to pull out here? Another standing moonsault, just trying to wear down Samara, but it just doesn't seem to be working. Oh, oh nice block off that drop kick to attempt. And Samara starting to hold her midsection a little bit. Oh, but a counter again into another... Oh, another big German suplex. And now Bulma off that German. Oh, tried to go for something, but a counter by Samara Morgan. Oh, another counter into an arm drag. What well, counter after counter in this championship match. And off that counter, another Masenko. Cover her, Bulma. But uh, she's not going for the cover off that second Masenko. Ha, huh? Bulma. Oh, uh, got to borrow from her husband. We've seen her do this before. A spinning Big Bang attack. That's it. This is it, Bulma. Into the cover. One, two. And now again, Samara kicks out. How? How is Samara still in this match? The Capsule Corp stoner couldn't do it. The spinning Big Bang attack couldn't do it. Oh, Bulma, oh, Bulma took too much time to get to the top. Oh, no. Top rope choke slam. That might be it. Top rope choke slam by Samara. But Samara not go oh a nice leg drop on top of that. Samara not going for the cover. I think Samara might be pissed. But again, how is Samara back up? Oh, and going for more punishment and a sidewalk slam on her opponent. And again, just telling Bulma to bring it in another leg drop. I think now Samara wants to prolong the agony. But again, what does Bulma have to do to win this match? The Capsule Corp Stunner hasn't worked. The Masenko hasn't worked twice. The 450 hasn't worked. The Big Bang Attack hasn't worked. Maybe she has to go for the Final Flash. Can she even do the Final Flash? I don't know. But a single leg Boston Crab on the champ. Oh, oh, but Samara able to get to the bottom rope for the break. And Bulma just trying anything right now. But Samara firing back. Oh, and uh, Seriously? Neckbreaker Elbow Smash take another shot of whatever you happen to be eating or drinking. But Bulma again firing back. Tried to go for that single leg Boston Crab again, but got kicked in the face. Oh, and that kick staggered her. Oh, and another sidewalk slam working on the back and the neck. Again, so I think Samara's going to try to go for that Tombstone pile driver again. But that is, that is her bread and butter, so that would make sense. And now Bulma just launching Samara to the outside as this matchup continues. This has been an epic contest thus far, our co-main event here tonight. And we still have the XAW world title on the line next. And now just, oh, just launching Samara, knees first, into the steel steps as the referee counts. They both need to be very careful. Oh, and again into the steps and the ring post. And again, Bulma trying to use the outside weapons in a way that doesn't get her disqualified. Smart move by Bulma. And now Bulma throwing Samara into the ropes. Oh, wait, what is Bulma going to do here? But she needs to be very careful about countouts and DQs here because she can lose the title uh, via those uh, stipulations. But oh, look at this. Bulma top rope. A huge back superplex by Bulma. And now another cover. One, two. Ah, but again, Samara kicks out. Man, Bulma doing everything she can here. But not again, nothing is working. And that's been the story for all the Femme Fatales, as far as Samara is concerned. Nothing has been working. And oh, and oh, what a drop kick. Bulma just launched Samara into the steel steps. That was devastating. But Bulma will not be denied here. Oh, but Samara again fighting back, throwing her into the barricade. Well, Bulma firing back, shot right to the kidneys. As the referee continues his count, throwing her into the barricade. And oh, another big kick to the face. And now Bulma just, oh, just wearing out her knuckles on Samara's face with some big punches. But she needs to be wary of the rep. Perhaps going for a count out victory would be smart here. 
But that is smart right there. Bulma getting back in the ring to break up the referee's count. And again throwing her into the barricade. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bulma. 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 To spear. Oh, maybe that'll do it. Maybe that'll be enough. Spearing Samara Morgan through the barricade. At this point, Bulma, go for the count out. At this point, Bulma, what are you doing? Uh, perhaps Bulma wants to win the honorable way, but will that be her undoing in this matchup? I mean, if it were me, honestly, if I could win the title against Samara via countout, if I did that, I would just go for that. I would be satisfied with that. But Bulma wants to win the honorable way, and I respect that, but I don't know how smart that is. And that right there, my point exactly. My point exactly. Back body drop counter by Samara. And now Samara saying that this is it. Oh, going for the choke slam. A third choke slam. Oh, and that might be it. Into the cover. One, two, but again, Bulma somehow kicks out. How? But Bulma again trying to fire back. And another huge kick to the face. And what is Bulma going to have to do? What is Samara going to have to do? And what is Bulma doing? Dragging her to the center of the ring. Well, Bulma perhaps going to go for a huge splash. Springboard. All oh, right into the waiting arms of Samara Morgan. Fatal mistake. Tombstone in the center of the ring. Crossing. The, that has to be a new champion. One, two, and three. Samara Morgan is your FF world champion. Man, what a battle. What a contest. Bulma has absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. Perhaps that was a huge mistake. Trying to put her back in the ring and win the honorable way. Maybe she should have just gone for the count-out victory off of that barricade spear. But either way, Samara Morgan wins again and is now your FF World Champion. Who can stop this woman? Seriously, she just seems absolutely unbeatable. She-Hulk couldn't do it. Ray couldn't do it. Bulma couldn't do it. Who can? Fiona couldn't do it. I don't think anyone can. But, uh, whoa, whoa. What the hell was that? Uh, our feed just blacked out. What? What is going on here? What? What? It's Xena the Warrior Princess! Just laid out the new champion with a chair. What, what are you doing here? She was suspended for breaking Tifa Lockhart's leg. Uh, what are you doing here in a neck breaker on the chair? I, I, I can't believe this. Perhaps her suspension... I guess her suspension is up. I, oh, no. D don't you dare. You already did this to T Tifa. Speaking of which, Tifa lock her from behind. Tifa's back. Xena is back, and Tifa's back with a baseball bat, saving Samara's leg. And look at this. Dolphin's Fury on Xena, getting revenge on the woman who broke her leg. Uh, and oh, my God. A baseball bat to the skull of the new champion. Uh, perhaps I have my answer. Xena and Tifa are both back. Xena back from suspension and Tifa back from her broken leg. Can either of these two be the one to dethrone Samara Morgan? I I'm in shock, ladies and gentlemen. Xena and Tifa are back, and you know there's bad blood there. Remember, right after Tifa won the UC, or like one of her first title defenses of the UCT Women's Championship, uh, Xena broke her leg. But man, some interesting stuff coming up down the uh, down the pipe. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, is our main event. Switching gears here, the XTW Championship will be decided. The UCT Champion Jack Six and the XAW Champion Jacob Cass one on one in our main event. Our main bento. What's up, Torin? How you doing tonight? Hope you're enjoying the show. I am, I'm still jazzed about Xena and Tifa coming back. Because, again, you know Tifa wants revenge. Uh, Xena cost her the UCT Femme Championship by breaking her leg. She had to vacate the title. And was gone for, a honestly, about a year and a half. And I heard there was some complications with her injury that kept her away. But, man, more on that as it develops, I guess. But it is time for our main event. The at the time UCT champion Jack Six going up against the at the time XAW champion Jacob Cass to unify the belts and determine the XTW World Heavyweight Champion. This is hype. This is just pure unadulterated hype, ladies and gentlemen. Who is walking out of here as champion? But much like the previous match, this honestly feels like David versus Goliath. Obviously, Goliath and Jack Six are one in the same. Jack Six is basically a bionic Goliath. 
I mean, he can literally punch so hard that it slows down time with a Megaton Punch. And here comes Jacob Cass, uh, the man who somehow defeated Sumo Slaughter inside a steel cage to retain the XAW Championship on the last episode of XAW. And of course, Jack Six retained the UCT Championship on the last episode of UCT against Super Android 13. And a uh, smart, smart move by Jacob Cass. He's been trying to sow dissension amongst the Supremacy and basically call for Jack Six to come out here and face him one-on-one -on -one with no Supremacy or else he ain't got no balls. He insulted Jack Six's balls, all both of them. Uh, so will Jack Six keep to that and keep this a fair fight here tonight? I don't trust him. Neither does Sean McCarty. But that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Our main event for the XTW World Heavyweight Championship. Can Jacob Cass do the impossible and take down Jack Six? Bulma couldn't defeat Samora, so it's not looking good for the Davids of the world. Will this be a Goliath's night only? We will see, but here we go with our main event. Jacob Cass and Jack Six, one-on-one -on -one for the XTW World Title. And already with a code breaker! Code breaker by Jacob! Is it, is it over? Not even a one. Not even a one. Wow. Jacob trying to start this thing off hot with a code breaker. And now Jacob Cass with some big forearms trying to maintain the offensive. And oh no. Oh no. Jack Six already responding. Mid air F6. Oh no. Is that it? Is it already over? Into the cover. One, two. Oh, that was. Oh my god. My heart is racing right now. I thought that was it. And so did Jack Six. So did, so did the audience. Man, what a hot start to this matchup. But perhaps that was not a smart move by Jacob. And oh, what a lariat. Short arm lariat out of the corner. And again, this is our main event for the XAW, uh, the XTW, excuse me, the XTW World Heavyweight Championship. Man, I am so hyped right now. But that was a big German suplex. But Jacob trying to fire back. He looks a little lackadaisical after uh, getting just slammed face first. And oh, big clothesline with that F6 out of midair. Man, I, I commend Jacob for trying to start this thing off hot and maintain the pressure, but perhaps that big cross body from the top rope was a mistake because, again, Jack Six is a powerhouse. I mean, he defeated Super Android 13 all by himself, and I don't think anyone's been able to do that. Now throwing him into the, into the ropes, and oh, went for a clothesline, but he missed it. And a big drop kick, nice counter. That's what Jacob Cass is going to need to do. He's going to need to stick and move. Springboard DDT, nice move by Jacob. Again, he's going to have to stick and move if he wants to be able to stick it to Jack Six. And now a single leg Boston Crab just going to try to keep the monster off his feet. Trying to keep this bionic behemoth off his feet. And uh, keep him from using his power. Because that is that is Jack Six's bread and butter. Just sure, sheer un... Oh, oh, look at this. Big belly to belly suplex. Just unadulterated power from Jack Six. And now Jack's first to belly to belly. And now another German suplex right on the neck and the shoulder. That was a nasty landing. And another huge right hand. And Jacob Cass is already behind the eighth ball. But Jacob trying to fire back. Nice punch. And Jack uh, gets Irish whipped into the ropes. And now Jacob uh, throwing Jack Six to the outside, but he hangs on. All setting up for that triangle drop kick. Big springboard drop kick. Knocking to the outside again. Can Jake Does Jacob Ch Cass have a chance? Oh, look at this. Springboard taking down his opponent. Nice springboard crossbody. I mean, ever since Jacob Cass broke away from his abusive mentor, Chris Jericho, I mean, he, it's, the sky's been the limit. But, oh, speaking of skies being the limit, and speaking of Jericho, a lion salt to the outside, wiping out his opponent and throwing him back into the ring. Jacob Cass is going to have to keep the pressure on Jack Six if he wants to win this match. But still, I mean, he had a code breaker and got a zero count. That, that has got to be confidence... Uh, suicide right there. The destruction of confidence, ladies and gentlemen. But Jack Six again firing back. But oh, nice Insiguri by Jacob. Well, looks like that did some damage. He needs to keep the pressure on. I'll oh, try to go for another one, but Jack Six saw that coming. Don't be too don't be too linear in your offense. Oh, went for a close line, but he missed it. And now Jacob this time nails another Insiguri. He needs to not be uh, that obvious in his in his approach, but a counter uh, nice jawbreaker by Jack Six as this matchup continues. I mean, counter after counter here, throwing him into the ropes. And another big back body drop by Jacob Cass. And, oh, just some disrespect. I don't know how smart this is, disrespect. That may have just pissed Jack Six off. And, oh, what a clothesline again. Man, remember, this is the same guy that won the Inter-Universal Championship from Darth Vader with a clothesline. So, and Jack Six has been there and done that, but Jacob Cass resorting to some dirty tech. That's a Chris Jericho move right there, using the ropes to choke him. 
It's on. Oh, 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 went for another forearm, but Jack Six with a drop toe hold, and he went face first into that bottom turnbuckle and a big punch again, cutting off the drop kick attempt. Man, Jack Six might just have Jacob's number, but throwing him into the ropes. And Jacob, oh, going for an O'Connor roll, O'Connor roll. One, two. Oh he, oh, he almost had Jack Six right there, almost caught him by surprise. Oh, and Jack Six saying, is that all you've got? Is that all you've got, Squirt? Is, he literally just called the man Squirt. The disrespect. I would honestly rather be called a simp than Squirt. Now this is getting weird. But a big running bulldog by Jacob Cass. And off that bulldog. Oh, setting up for a Lion Saw. Lion Saw into the cover. One. But again, only a one count. Man, Jack, Jacob Cass is going to have to pull out something big here. Another code breaker. Another code breaker. Will that be enough into the cover? One. But again, only a one. Only a one. How is that only a one? What is Jack Six made of? He kicked out of the first code breaker at zero and kicked out of a second one at one. And oh, big German suplex on top of that. Man, I, I don't know. Like, literally, Samara and Jack Six just both seem unbeatable, but a swinging neckbreaker, Jacob's like, damn it, I'm going to try anyway. And Jacob, top rope, elbow to the sternum. And not even bothering going for the cover. Going to go immediately for another one. Oh, but again, got a little too cute, got a little too predictable. Uh, Jack Six saw that coming from a mile away. Oh, but again, and I saw that one coming, and another German. Jacob needs to vary up his offense here. He's getting a little too predictable. Oh, but again, but, oh, there, there we go. Counter and then an immediate forearm knocking down his opponent. Man, we are watching a chess match here in this matchup, and I am here for it. Oh, but this double underhook. Oh, nice backbreaker. I'm surprised Jacob got him up for that, but a nice backbreaker by Jacob Cass on his opponent. And another big bulldog by Jacob Cass. Oh, but Jack Six right back up with a big punch. And that staggered Jacob, but Jacob will not be denied. Nice chops from both arms. And, oh, big drop kick knocking down Jackson. But again, oh, that, that, why would you taunt? Oh, but, oh, counter, and oh, there we go. Man, counter after counter in this matchup. And a counter by Jack Six. So many counters here. And now an arm ringer, but a counter by Jacob. Man, I am, I am in like Flynn for this matchup. But another, man, counter after counter in this championship match. Man, how many counters in this match? But a nice clothesline knocking him to the outside. Is Jacob going to go for another springboard? Uh, perhaps thinking better of it. Oh, but look at this. Oh, and the old back body drop on the outside. That'll do some damage. A lot more effective than doing it in the ring. Oh, but oh, Jake uh, immediately gets countered again by Jack Six. And oh, a shot to the throat. And a boot to the face, knocking him right back in the ring, man. The offense of Jack Six is nothing short of ruthless. Just absolute brutality and physicality. And speaking of which, oh, is he going to go for the triple power bomb? The strength of Jack Six is just scary, man. And the triple power bomb connects. And will that be enough? Jack Six dragging him away for the ropes. Into the cover. One, two. Oh, but Jacob just barely kicks out at two and a half. That was oh, oh but gets caught. He got caught. When Jack Six going for another F6. And just drilling him with a devastating F6. That might be enough. Into the cover. One, two. No, and again, Jacob will not be denied. Jacob again kicks out. I, but how? Oh, but throwing him into the rope stands. Oh, clothesline to the back of the head. That was a nasty shot right there. And now look at this. Oh, oh but a counter by Jacob. Counter by Jacob. And, oh, and off that counter. No way. No, he's going for the brain buster. He's got him up. And Brain Buster on Jack Six. That has to be it. Into the cover. One. What? 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 Even Jacob can't believe it. How did he kick out of the Brain Buster at one? This dude isn't human. What is Jack Six made of? How did he kick out of that? I, I, I don't even know what to say. How is Jacob maintaining his composure here? This is ridiculous. I just, what do you do at this point? Jacob maintaining the pressure. He's not giving up, which I guess that's the answer. But what do you do now? Just hit him with another brain buster? He can't, it wasn't even a two. It was a one. It was a one. How? My voice is dying 
but uh, swinging neckbreaker, perhaps trying to damage the head, perhaps a setup for another brain buster, but still at this point, man, I, my confidence would have eroded away a long time ago. But now Jacob's still trying to maintain control, but it again gets countered. Oh, but Jacob throwing him right back into the corner. And what is Jacob doing here? A shot to the gut, and Jacob springboard into a super code breaker. Pin him! Pin him right now, Jacob! How did he even do that? Oh, but uh, Jack Six somehow right back up. Oh, right into the waiting arms. Oh, this has to be it. If he connects with a second brain buster off that super code breaker, and that's it! Cover him, Jacob! New champion! Into the cover, looking to leg. One! Two! No! Ja How? How the hell did Jack Six kick out of that? I mean, at least Jacob got a two, but look at Jacob. He's like, what do I do? What am I supposed to do here? And Jack Six, again, just returning the returning the favor here. Oh, what is Jack Six doing? What is Jack Six do? Oh, no. Oh, no, Jacob. Jacob, what are you doing? This is what Jack Six did to Super 13. Oh, my, oh my God. Man, right through our announce table. Thankfully, my microphone didn't go flying, but holy crap. And, oh no! What? Majin Boo! You said you would. Why? Why? Why is Boo out here? Oh, oh, Jacob saw that. Jacob is pissed. Going right after Boo. After Jacob Cast got the move of the night on Jack Six, Majin Boo came out, knocked out the ref, and is now trying to screw over Jack. Oh, oh. Oh, you son of a bitch! A low blow! No, don't you dare! And the Boo Ball! No, you son of a bitch, Majin Boo! Are you kidding me? No. And now just leaving the ring. Really? Oh, no, it cannot end this way. It cannot end this way. Oh, and Jack Six is back up, and the referee's back up too. No, not the Megaton! Megaton Punch! Oh, you have got to be kidding me. There is no way this is how No! No, Jacob! One! Two! No! How did Jacob kick out of that? I am losing my mind right now. I, I thought for sure that was it. I, I just don't even know what to say at this point. Just how in the world did Jacob kick out of that? <laughs> What, what what are both of these two made of? But oh god, that clothesline had some venom. And Jack Six is furious. Like I don't remember the last time I saw anyone, maybe Liu Kang, kick out of the Megaton Punch. But my god, oh no, oh and Jack Six is furious. Jack Six is going to take it out of Jacob's ass. Oh no, there's going to be oh, oh, these massive German suplexes. Jack Six might just murder this young man, but Majin Buu may still have screwed Jacob Cass out of this matchup. Even though he won, both of them honestly, I'm not surprised, but Jacob wanted this to be, oh, wait, oh no, oh no, of all the ways to win, Jack Six is using the walls of Jericho. If this is how this ends, I quit. Don't you even tell me, but Jacob, so how, Jacob somehow makes it to the bottom rope. Oh, and another massive clothesline. Jack Six having the temerity, the audacity to use the submission hold of Jacob Cass's former mentor. But that may have just pissed Jacob off. But again, how are how are either of these two in this matchup still? Oh, and Jacob is desperately doing anything he can to get back into this. A rake to the eyes. Normally, you don't see that out of Jacob Cass, but at this point, it's fair game. It is all fair game at this point right now, especially since Boo just tried to ruin this contest. But another... How many more of these clotheslines close can Jacob Cass withstand? And how many of these just straight-up shots right to the face can Jacob withstand? Ja and Jack Six is desperate. You can feel the desperation from Jack Six. He just undid the turnbuckle. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh, Jacob's in trouble. Oh no. And oh, right into the exposed buckle. No, not like this either. One, two, but how? Again, how? How did Jacob kick out of that? Oh, but Jacob. Oh, Jack Six tried to get a little too cute once again, but Jacob somehow again. And Jacob trying for one last. Is this one last second wind? I get. Oh no. A third one. A third brain buster. A third brain buster. That's it. Game over. Into the cup. 
Oh no, Jacob, they think he's too close to the ropes. He's too close to the ropes, trying to drag him with the ropes, perhaps taking too much time. One, two, th damn it again, he kicks out. What is it gonna take? Oh, but oh, oh, a fourth one, a fourth one, Jacob. Jacob going for a fourth. How is he doing this? A fourth brain buster. And now into the cover. One, two, three, Jacob has done it. Yes, somehow, some way, Jacob Cass, I'm lightheaded right now. Jacob has overcome all the odds, surviving Jack Six and Majin Buu to become the first ever XTW World Heavyweight Champion. My God, what a main event. Oh, and speak of the devil, Majin Buu, oh, Majin Buu is pissed. Oh, wow. I think he just told Jack Six that you're a failure, go screw yourself. Oh man, the cracks in the supremacy continue to grow. Oh, and Jack Six is furious. But Jacob Cass withstands all of that, withstands the supremacy, and somehow he's the X XTW World Heavyweight Champion. The biggest, most monumental victory in his career here tonight at Fusion. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Good night, everybody.